What's going on, Musk Queen? And why isn't Discord popping him up? Oh, that is annoying. What's going on, guys? Quit out of that game for a second. How is everyone doing? All right, there's that done. Username. What's up with you, dude? Sly Dante, welcome back, man. Yeah, I saw the trailer for Donod's new game. I'm intrigued, mainly because I have lived in West Virginia before, so you don't usually see too many games there. So I'm kind of interested. Though it doesn't come out until next year, so no reason to get too hype about it right now. Hello, everyone. I'm guessing they're still going to announce Life is Strange 2 at E3 this year. That's strange. Brock even kept a key to use the game. Okay, there we go. That's good. That's all good. Emit. You emit from the black smoke. Greetings, mortals. Someone's role-playing tonight in the chat. All right, now we can go ahead and load the game. I would actually describe the game we're playing tonight as Life is Strange with Vampires and a really awkward combat system. The tricycle is just a unicycle with training wheels. It's very prophetic. Or philosophic, I mean. No, no, no. I would not compare this game with Dark Souls. Dark Souls does not have talking in it really any. You have a few characters who have a few lines and cryptic lines and that's it. This game is more talking than anything else. But that's what they set out to do. Who are we to judge? Maybe they really wanted a, a vampire sim game where you're basically just being a social vampire. You think this game is more fun to play than stream? To be honest, I would also I would both agree and disagree with that statement. On one hand, I think this game is very difficult to stream because there's not a lot of opportunities for like shenanigans, or stream shenanigans as they call it. But on the other hand, I think this game would actually be boring playing it by yourself unless you're really into just immersing yourself into vampire vampirism. So me like seeing you guys your guys' reaction to stuff on that's happening on stream is far more entertaining than anything the game is currently presenting. Let's in. Thank you for the raid, dude. How'd your stream go? Browser. Oh, did someone just subscribe or resubscribe? I must have missed it. I think we've heard enough uh, violin music. Let's go ahead and actually just load up the game and we'll start in a few minutes after people show up. We're gonna have to kill some people tonight. We need to level up. We're like getting, we've like put it off as long as possible. We now have to eat some people. I don't think we can ignore that any further. We're having a rough time as it is and it's only gonna get harder. Soon we won't be able to take a single attack. So tonight we're gonna start off by like eating a so finding someone we need we can nom we can nom on and level ourselves up because we are under leveled right now. Are we closer to finding the plot? I assume we are. We saw a red blood devil last night before we called it a night. Am I? I I hope I can finish this by tomorrow. I'm not going to promise that, though, because with a game with this much talking and there's two other districts I haven't even been to yet, it might it might be easier said than done. Have I encountered any Castlevania Easter eggs? 
I believe there was a character who said something similar to Dracula's speech, or at least a very small part of it. Or maybe I was just reading someone in chat and they were making it up. To be honest, this game does not have anything in common with, Drac with Castlevania. Very, very different. Uh, Bloodborne has more in, in... Bloodborne or Dark Souls have more in common with Castlevania games of old than this game does. Actually, I would call Dark... I would call Bloodborne probably the modern Castlevania. Uh, that's a hard question. A la carte or Dio? Well, it also depends on which a la carte you're talking about. There's quite a few of those. You gotta get rid of those bits to get an even get an even number. Ah, someone's got some OCD click kicking in. Modern Metroidvania, that too. Obviously, Dark Souls are very Metroidvania Metroidvania-ish. Oh, the a la carte from Helsing. That's a good character. I'm not gonna lie. Dio, let's be honest though, Dio didn't really get good until like the th he was only the first season he was in was not that great. It was only when he got you know came back in modern times that he was actually interesting. When he wasn't really much of a vampire anymore either. You call Shovel Knight the modern Castlevania. That there's a lot of games I guess you could say at this point could lay claim to be in the modern Castlevania. Alright, I guess we can go ahead and get started. No use waiting around anymore. Alright, last night we left off, we went to our sister's funeral, and then we came back. <laughs> Riveting mission design in this game, isn't it? Go to a funeral, then, you know, walk back. And maybe something else will happen along the way. Alright, so. We, before we do anything, before our, our next mission objective is find Sean... Hampton in the East End docks. But before we do that, I honestly feel we gotta eat some people. We we get and I can't really eat anyone from this district, or if, if I eat anyone from the Whitechapel, it'll probably go into hostile. So I'm and I'm already in this district anyway, so I'm gonna have to eat someone here. Uh my mesmerized level is two, so I have to find someone who's a level two mesmerized and is also worth a decent amount of blood. Okay, he's worth a decent amount. Six. I've already. He, he could be worth more though. These two are. Well, no. He would be all right. I actually think I can treat him for his fatigue as well and make him a little bit better. All the patients kind of suck because they have very low XP amounts. And all the doctors have high mesmerite levels that I can't get, so I think he's the best option. I'll cure his fatigue and see if I can get the last hint about him, and that should give me a good chunk of XP. Maybe I'll level up my mesmerizing guy and take his girlfriend as well, and that should be enough. That will probably drop the this place down to like serious condition, though. Or maybe it'd be better to only go with one and go with this guy. Anyways, let's go cure that guy's, uh, if I can, cure his, uh, whatever illness he had. I've got like a ton of medicine on me right now. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Yeah, they want us to go find the Irishman guy next. I know that Pembroke will prevail and survive this epidemic. Prepare for a lot of talking as we learn the secrets right. of all the people of this hospital again. Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Is there anything you can tell me about the recent commotion here? Many things can happen under cover of night. You're at the same Dr. part of the game? But I How do I rate no Dr. Reed's voice? Massacre. It's alright. But did you see or kind of, hear anything? I can't say I did. It's one of those games where there's not a lot of emotion in the main character's voice, probably by design. Doctor. It's kind of a J.C. Denton is... He's kind of like J.C. Denton, only if he's English. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark. 
You can kill Deal anyone in this game, activity. but there are consequences. You can like make a district become totally inhabitable. Oh, she's still standing around. That's a guy I could eat right now, actually. Dr. Corcoran Tippetts. What was his, uh... He's got some hints I haven't unlocked, but... He's kind of a good guy, though. These, kind of, these two are kind of crappy. Where did the gun seller go? I hate the fact they walk around so much, and they don't really seem like they have a place that they go, they just amble around. I never even talked to these guys. Let's see what they're all about. There he is. Good evening, Milt. Good evening, Doctor. Good Still evening, trying to save Raven. Lives. Uh, do you have anything what to tell me? tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Someone killed Miss Jones in her room, and Mr. Hampton's gone missing. Doesn't take a genius to piece it together. You don't seem shocked by any of this. Why should I be? Whoever did this... I don't think this guy sells really now. anything but like Besides, a gun, and that's it. rid of the old bag. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Yeah, he's got a gun. It's a good gun, Milton shot. Maybe we can get it off him if we kill him. Hmm, I might want to save until I... Maybe I can sell some stuff and buy the gun and then kill him. Sell these. There we go. Plenty of money. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. I don't want to hear any shit in chat about how I'm going to kill the black guy either. Is my first target, all right? It just because it worked out this way. He's the only tar he's really like two people I can actually kill that are actually worth anything at my current mesmerized level. Right, we can buy a shotgun. And we'll buy some bullets. Four said shot at gun. All right. Me lead evening, you away. Milt. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Yes. In fact, I am. How do, how do I... How do I mesmerize him? Oh, left bumper. Sorry about this, dude. But it had to be someone. I won't be able to sell guns in the future? Is it... You can only sell guns to him? Oh shit, that might be bad. Alright, let me reconsider this. Who else could I even kill that's even worth anything? The only other people I can currently mesmerize are worth nothing, and it's a waste of time to even kill them. That guy's kind of worth stuff, but he's he's a good guy. Let me go meet this unknown guy down there. Maybe he's worth something. How do I get down? There's a guy right down there who I've never met. Should equip the gun I just bought, though, that's for sure.
I really hate this menu system so much. I guess I equipped it. It's really hard to tell. Let's talk to these guys. Maybe one of these will be worth some blood. You're not really worth anything. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed of the Pembroke Hospital. May I be of assistance? Dr. Reed. Mr. Gamer, hello. So you save my friend Oswald. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. And you are? Newton Blight. Oswald and I recently returned from the war. Oh, he's a level three. I can't mesmerize him. What can you tell Maybe we can learn something for someone else, though. If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Uh, did you know tell me about Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. You don't like this guy's face? I think we're in the same boat to France. What's wrong with it? Looks pretty normal to me. We've stuck together ever since. You mesmerized too much. I haven't mesmerized really anyone yet, though, so I should be good for when I do I it. I fought in France too. I served as a field. Life surgeon. must suck when a vampire won't it's kill you and drink your to blood. Hell and assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was war was well, you know. So. I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. Maybe I... And me. Yeah, the, the guy I just tried to mesmerize is really it. There's no one else that's worth any experience. Rats, that's Even a level two. One, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from I just won't be able to sell Oswald guns for the rest left. of the game, I guess. You are always welcome. There is a doctor I could also mesmerize who's worth a bit more. Officer, but I'd like to, to level him up some more and make him worth wor not even more than that. Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? It's like the early 20th century and everyone's sick and dying. Everyone's going to look gross. Through it, you can talk him round. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. Gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. I couldn't move. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really thinking the gun guy is the only one I can really go for. No, you don't. The other one is a doctor who seems like a really good person who's probably a lot more valuable than the guy selling guns on the street. In your flesh. Oswald, he found me and saved me. Do you need medical attention, sir? No thanks, sir. Unless you're able to get rid of every rat in London. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. It's kind of weird when your name is Blight. Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink yeah, of dark shit. It looks like Kevin Spacey. Piss, but to me, it smells like the purest mountain air. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite my claustrophobia. Young Kevin Spacey. Before all the, you know, sexual offense. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? Ah, that's what the bloody doctor said. But I don't want to go to a hospital. This guy's not worth very much, though. He's only worth like 300 XP. Way. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? 
You guy has small eyes. Oh, they're just close together. In. Makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers that in That requires a therapist, then, not a hospital. Lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. There I is a plot. We're looking for mean. the person who turned us I into a vampire. Too. That's pretty much no. it right now. Nobody can truly And the vampires are also behind the Spanish flu. What's this guy's mesmerized? I could mesmerize this guy. He's only level one. He's got a headache though, so he's not worth anything. He's not even worth killing. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. There's also a side quest we can do to get some more experience. What widow in distress? level four. Can't mesmerize her. He's worth absolutely nothing. Same with him. Unmesmerizable. Too hot. Guy's not worth anything. Neither. Well, she's... Hmm. He's worth a decent amount. He's worth 12.50. Damn, if only I was level three, I could get that guy. All right, I've got a plan here. Let's treat the gun guy for his fatigue, and then we'll harvest him later. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm afraid I do. This way he'll be like worth more when we actually hospital. do it. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers are worried about disease. I think you bring your mesmerize level up by, you know, mesmerizing people, don't you? Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. All right, this will make him more healthy, so when we do finally kill him, he'll be worth a lot more experience. Do you need any medical help? No, I already asked that. So he's recovering. That's good. Goodbye, Milton. I think we're gonna, what we'll do right now is we'll go do this side quest, Widow in Distress, and then we'll see how if we we'll see if we can go do Sad Saint, and then when we get back, we should we should be able to do these two missions before we're too low level to continue, and then we'll have to kill someone. We're trying to avoid that as much as possible, so I want to avoid killing people as all possible, as much as possible. I want to avoid killing people, and only when I really have to. But let's go do this side quest, Widow in Distress. He's up there, not very far from us. So I need to go right to this alleyway up here. Past the river. You probably can beat the entire game without killing anyone, but it would be very, very difficult. Because eventually you get so underleveled that enemies kill you in basically one hit. You do level up from doing quests and killing enemies, but not nearly as fast as you do from uh, eating people. This is actually the lady we saved in the cemetery, I believe. Okay, these guys are only two levels above me. I, I can deal with that. Oh, he's got a torch. Oh, 
Okay, guy with the freaking gun back there. Let's get out of range of him. Just continue using my club. Club seems to work a lot better than hatchet and shotgun. You, I can actually have a, a tribly. Can't have a top hat though. If I want to, I can equip. That guy did not help me, his friends at all. I did pre order this game, so I do have that costume. I need your experience. Change the name of this stream to Vampire. Vegetarian Vampire. I think I just found the name of tomorrow's stream. No, strangely you can't, you know, fully feed off, you know, the vampire hunters. Does that make any sense to you guys? Like, why can't I just, like, seriously level up from killing these people? Okay, that's the wrong way. My favorite moment so far in the game? Uh, the opening was alright. My character only eats free-range humans. I wish the game had a stealth system. It seems weird that you're pl you can play as a vampire but would not have stealth. You have, literally the only stealth thing in the game is a ability that lets you turn in briefly invisible. Thank you. Oh, this janky combat. You can walk behind them and stun them briefly, but that's it. it and you, and often, often it's not really set up to really do that very well. And usually alerts everyone around you. It, it, it's really not meant to be a stealth game. on the right path. Yeah, she's up in the graveyard still. Why is she still standing in the graveyard a night later? You can feed temporarily in combat off the hunters, but it only replenishes your blood supply. That lets you use powers. It doesn't actually give you experience to level up like the killing the humans does. Should be up here. Hey, Bigolap, how are you? This lady spent all day up here in the cemetery for no reason. Supposed to be right here. There she is. Matthew. The world has gone. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you alright? Yes, I Thanks, am. Thanks, Slayer. How are you? This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. <sighs> Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I heard that she used to help the refugees. But unfortunately, you don't see her around anymore. I see someone is in chat. I think you're making a reference to Deus Ex with the whole round eye thing. I really remember Deus Ex doing that line, that that line a lot. Like, what do you want, round eye? Something along those lines. 
Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Shu. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. Well, maybe it was Guala. It's a mundane cause of death these days. But for me, it meant the end of the Which I believe in Chinese means time, ghost face. There is so little medical science can do you to You saved my life, now I correct your epidemic. grammar. I'm what truly my bitch from Slayer? The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming. To have lost him so quickly, Ooh. even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Round eye was Fallout too. Did oh yeah, that makes more sense. To come, or did he not realize yeah, Deus Ex was Walleye. I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of Am days. Am I Chinese or we Japanese? Neither. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends. But I need to be Seriously, here this alone. game feels like Life is Strange One with day, vampires and a combat system. Them, but not now. With the amount of talking you have to do I to everyone. Silence. And I need sadness. Sadness can be a terrible trap. Sadness can be a terrible trap. It can entangle you and weaken your heart if you let it control your thoughts. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Don't you just hate when the writers block when making your scripts? Sometimes, yeah. It happens often, actually. So would you call this game a talking simulator? Yeah, maybe. Can't really think of a better description. So what did we convince her? You should go home now. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed yeah, to make you me feel better? Yeah, because you kind of killed her. No. But I felt I should share it with you. Since she is buried here, too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. I don't really know what could jump scare you that bad to make you run out of your room. I've never encountered anything that scary in a game. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead. Why are we, you know, what? This is a weird mission when you think about it. This lady's here mourning her, at the cemetery, mourning her husband. And we have to come here and tell her, you should go home. Like, she wouldn't do that. I mean, she, she's not going to take up residence in the graveyard. Goodbye for now. She has to go home at some point anyways. How do you feel? Physically speaking, I mean. I'm as well as can be expected, Doctor. He's a level three. Can't eat her either. Bye for now. All right, we helped the widow in distress. Matthew, the world has gone completely mad. All right, now on to Sad Saint of the East End. We sh hopefully we're high enough level to do that, and hopefully after we get back from that, we'll have leveled up, mesmerized, maybe enough to. Eat a level three person, and then we'll be good for the rest of the night. Well, that's the same widow in distress that we met last night. She was locked in a tomb for some reason. I hate games that have an actual menu tied to select button. That's so bizarre in this modern day times.
I don't even know why I came in here. I don't think there's I think there's like nothing in this place. This is another safe house. Oh, it's just a shortcut probably. Do I find a secret? Oh no, this is a safe house. Brisk blood sample. A small dose of brisk blood that can be used to create stamina serums from vampires. Okay, that's just another potion we can make. Have I seen The Watchmen? I have read the comic. We don't need to sleep right now. We just continue down here, then we go down to the docks. To hunt down our Irish friend. It's one of them! Over there! This one You get our ultimate, how about that? Yeah, I know about Doki Doki Literature Club. It's not a game I've ever played, but I know about it. How could I not at this point? Yeah, there's three different ultimate abilities in the game. That's the Abyss. I'm probably only ever going to buy the one because you got to level them up as well. Trying to level up all three would be a bad idea. Last warning, sir! up here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I went to go back. Yeah, I don't really want to go back across the river. You got some Doritos, the food of champions, my friend. All the nutritional value a growing boy needs. Why would I want to? Why should I? Why shouldn't I level up all three? Because it takes a lot of experience to level up even one. And you'd have to, unless you were going around feeding off everyone, you would never have enough experience. It's better to just focus on one and get it like mastered. At least that's my opinion, anyways. That's there's an alley I can cut across. What is this building? I guess oh that's the morgue, I think. Baldi beat my ass at 4 a.m. Not clickbait. Is that a Jake Paul title? I've heard that Jake Paul and his Team 10 are actually breaking up or something. Isn't that correct? Maybe some of you guys who actually follow that garbage can confirm. If so, hey, I guess the universe does, uh, you know, bend toward morality. There's our objective all the way down here at the docks. So we got to continue this way. Right, it what? seems the pre are redoubling this is gonna be hard in the district. I must be more careful. These guys are level 16s. Not gonna be exactly easy when they're level it's 16. Locked. Maybe 
Maybe I can sneak by the, this first group. You didn't hear that. Okay. I should be able to handle this. I can handle level 16s. That's good to know. As long as they don't get much higher than that. You know, for as interesting and as much design went into making these these London boroughs, I really don't feel that much of a compulsion to explore them. It was kind of wasted, actually. This is no place for you, sir. I said, go back look out here. Oh, he's a level 17. This Shit. Oh, this is bad. Ultimate. I meant to use ultimate on the big guy. Give me your blood. Oh, that, that is an alley I want no part of. Oh, there's a vampire friend helping me. Or there was a vampire friend helping me. Oof. That was... That was not... Hmm. I think I only survived that because that vampire also got caught up in the fight. I can't really help you if you're erect in any way, dude. That's all on you. You gotta take care of your erection problems on your own. Sorry. That's not that's not my business. It doesn't matter what the cause of your erection is. It's just something you have to take care of. It's not my fault. I don't. Owe, I don't owe people hand jobs because they get turned on by piles of bacon. I need to continue down this way toward all the dudes. Let me get a stun off this guy. I need to replenish my blood. I should at least be able to drain more blood from them when I stun someone. I'm stuck on the on the barrel. The guy threw a smoke bomb at me. There's different. My idea of pleasing the audience is a lot different from your idea, apparently. Hey, Viole, welcome back, dude. You're not really that late. Nothing really major has happened since we started the stream at 7. We've just been killing a lot of dudes. I could not tell if that guy was dead or not until he finally stopped flopping. Is there no more authorities in London at this point? All I'm seeing is empty streets and vampire hunters and, you know, zombies. How are the normal townsfolk getting around? 
There's kind of a disconnect between the world they're crafting here and the story they're trying to tell. It's like, people would be, like, locking themselves in doors at this point. No such thing as authority in London. Yeah, this is exactly how London is. Dead people all over the place, armed roving gangs, cannibalistic vampire mutants. Oh, these are level 17s. He's like eating boards. Could they have not had him like hovering over a dead rat or a corpse to make it at least, you know, plausible? Huh? A lot of fiber, I guess. Shows the blood supply. In his defense, boards are delicious. I will take your word on that. Oh yeah, shit, that heals them a lot when they do that. I feel like I, I swung and none of my hits connected, at least for the first couple. Friends spend all your cash. Yeah, of course they can. Anyone can spend all your cash. More than likely, if you give people access to your money, they will do so. Oh, you mongrel. I need someone who can An read this. text written in Braille alphabet. Oh, who would... I haven't met anyone blind yet. Cure for blindness, apparently. I did not kill him. Oh shit, these are level 19s. At least the one I used ultimate on is. I need blood. I had to be really careful here. Cure for blindness can only be read by a blind person, of course. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yeah, that wasn't so bad as I thought it'd be. Do you not think any of that was weird? sir what are you doing in a place like this i'm not sure that's any of your business i hope you realize that staying here will put your life at great risk bah! i'm not afraid of these guards of prewen or whatever these thugs call themselves i can still kick some respect into those youngsters i wasn't specifically referring to them but are you really after these men why they took my boy i've had no news since he joined that crazy gang so I decided to come and find him myself, to get some answers. I see. But as I said, your life is at risk if you stay here. And I'm not referring to the gangs either. You should leave, sir. Well, this part of town used to be nicer, let's say. Perhaps you're right. This isn't the best way to save Andrew. Uh, what's this guy's... He's a level three mesmerize. He's healthy, too. He's got nothing to say. I like this. I like not seeing a full dialogue, Will. 
Man, a few words, huh? I respect that. The miracle. That's the first time we've seen that, actually. In all fairness, the guy did seem like he was drunk, so maybe that's why he didn't notice us doing, you know, vampire magic. Dear mother, whatever happens to me, always remember that your son loves you. I know you do not always approve of the way I chose to live my life, but won't, I won't change. I was born and raised in this part of town. I just can't stand what is happening to my neighborhood. To people we know, I recently made a terrible decision. I decided to strike back against the tyranny of a few. I know that they will retaliate. Is this that guy's son? There is a name engraved under the blood on the back of the case. Jack Gillingham. Maybe I should return this watch to his family. Hmm. No, a different guy. This is Archer Woodbread. Are you sure you'll be able to reach the docks alone? Young man, I am perfectly capable of defending myself. All right. I'm strangely that's he's completely right despite, you know, all the vampires around. After playing this game, I really want a new uh a new Soul Reaver game though. I think we need a really good Soul Reaver game to reboot vampires. Bring them back. They deserve it. Oh, couldn't tell if he was a vampire or just someone really ill. I said fuck vampires in 2015 in response to what? Soul Reaver Battle Royale? No, 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 no. Though the idea of a, a vampire-based Battle Royale game is intriguing. It, it is possible I said it, though I probably didn't really mean it. Sometimes I will say things for the purpose of a joke. Finally, we're at the docks. That took forever. One hundred bits, or maybe Olay. Mummies are still the best. Uh, yeah, mummies are alright. They're actually kind of underused at this point. Why is PUBG suing Fortnite? Uh, I believe, you know, because Fortnite is worth a bajillion dollars, and PUBG would like a little bit of that. Or maybe a lot of that. I think that's the main reason. They're they're very, apparently very upset that they no longer can call themselves the number one battle royale game, and they feel they deserve it. You know, deserve that title. Even though they weren't the first, they were just merely temporarily the biggest. All right, we've had our gameplay session. Back to talking to people and meeting new people. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Why must it always be a good evening? I was just being polite. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you some questions, if I may. Don't like questions. Another Metal Gear Games in development at Konami. My name is Seymour Fishburne. Are we really supposed to be know. excited about that prospect after the last one? What can you tell me about this part of town? A shithole filled with maggots. Liars and thieves, all of them. Are you thinking about someone in particular? No. Nope. Hate them all. Especially these later, petty, Neptune. whining little shitbag beggars. Has an even lower budget than Survive. Wouldn't surprise me. Is like there said, no, one no reason to get, even care at this point. Then? Well, 
Tom from our Konami is not going to do anything broken. worthwhile anymore, guys. At least unlike most Consider them to be a dead company. Without opening his trap. What's your occupation? I take care of my mum. That's what I do. She's the only good thing in my life. Even though I don't treat her so good. You seem upset. Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. That's a level three. Everyone's a level three anymore. Sometimes it's hard to be a good son. I just wanted to smile. No, I was thankful for her patience, appreciated like. God knows she deserves it. What's Death Stranding about? A, a very handsome naked man, apparently. And a baby. Hit new sitcom on NBC. Sort of. Any chance you can help me find Sean Hampton? The sad saint. Why would you talk to that? There has been a leak Actually, that it says it involved the plot of that game involves time really? travel well, go and mul multi-dimensions. I'm sure Tom Watts will gladly answer you. Though it's hard to tell if the leak is actually, you know, truthful. Oh, look at all these new slots for people. Sean Hampton who is who we're here to find. When did I meet these two? That's his mother and someone else. I will not sing I am a little teapot. And you also cannot, you know, break bits down into a decibel, po a decibel point like that. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburne. There's a lot of stuff Hello. that Konami owns the right to that you should miss. Scare you? you have nothing to fear. Sadly, me. it's all locked behind that no, wall of shit now. It's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. Looking for Sean Hampton. Do you know a man who Sing lives it and I'll give 1,000. A man named Sean Hampton. I'm looking for him. I'm a little teep, hot, short, and don't, don't say I'm not worth, you know, it's some money doesn't make everything move. To avoid me. Well, there, I you only got one verse. I'm a little teapot, short, and stout. This is sick. my handle, this is my spout. Thanks for the tip. There you go. You might want to check the turquoise no, you don't have to give me a thousand bits for that either. Far from me. The barkeep knows everyone in these I did that mainly for the joke. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me... I found the idea of the joke more appealing than actual of the money. Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Why does this kid have gray hair? Like, you're aging a bit young, are you? Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the docks, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. So you don't really do anything. He's got anemia. Do you have a job? It's hard to work. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the docks. They could actually mesmerize this kid. He's... Oh, uh, let's actually treat him and make help? him worth more. A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. I feel like a real person. Give the medicine. A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So now he's worth a thousand XP. He's recovering. 
What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the docks. Oh, we were heard that. My smart. Are you alone? Where is your family? I, I don't have any. My parents are dead. Okay, so this guy is a no very hope. promising target. He's not connected You're to anyone, rough. so no one would miss him. No. He just I mean, got a sob yes. story, which does not affect me. I have no home. You be careful. You should be careful, Rufus. There are things that lurk in the shadows of this city. Things that prey on the lonely and the desperate. Well, I'm known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. Ending of Bioshock? I guess she's uh, a good soul. The good ending? Sometimes you say the little sisters and you get cancer when you're old and die. Related. That's the ending. Not really that complicated, actually. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. All right. Let's see. Let's look at his social status. Rufus Kings, bro. No, he actually is connected to these two. He's currently recovering, though. Let's cure this guy as well. We might want to eat him as well, eventually, too. This looks like a good hunting ground. It's in stable condition, and there's some decent people I can mesmerize and eat. Mr. Fishman. Yeah, yeah. Do you require medical assistance? <laughs> That's something I didn't expect to hear again. A doctor concerned with the health of his patients. Yeah. I could use some help. On several matters, in fact. Give the medicine to him. I don't know which kind of doctor you're used to dealing with, but it's a doctor's purpose to heal people. And is it your purpose as well, Mr. Reed? I would say it's a convenient way for gaining people's trust. He's on to us, guys. He's now worth 1500 We said to level up our Mesmerize. We'll eat him later. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburne. Hypocrites, all of them. Maggots and liars. He's kind of got like a sour mood anyway, so we'll be doing him a favor. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, Doctor. N no, there is not about, is no, no amount of bits that'll give me to sing All-Star. That's basically a, a meme. The disease takes away the good people too, madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburne. Stella Fishburne. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? Even for a hundred, I have my pride. The last time I had a good sleep, I've been nothing but worry. Loot everything this old woman has. Okay, maybe for a thousand. That's kind of actually getting into, into like, okay, maybe my pride can disappear for a few minutes. You guys are like trying to figure out what my moral my moral limits are, aren't you? So you have questions about the flu then? Yes, among other things. Wow, that's a that, my that's a word I haven't heard in a long time. Tub thumping. Like Holy God! Coming in the house. I remember that song playing every minute of the day on the radio. I'm trying to locate Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where he could be? I have not thought about that song in about the one everyone how many years? The sad saint, the man who takes care of the homeless. The very same, Miss Fishburne. I'm sorry. I don't know where his shelter is. That song was essentially the around, Gangnam style of I'm its sure day. I'm sure you'll get your answer. 
to level two. What's her, uh... Okay, we're finding some good targets here. We might eat this entire family. Like, all three of them. We've healed two of them. She did, she's healthy, so she doesn't need... It. We'll just, like, get... We'll just get some hints from all of them, and just level them up, and then just, like, devour them. Regards you as a mother. Please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do. Yeah, you can sing that song all you like in chat. Most people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed, but I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. She's old too, so what does it matter if she dies? Wow, this game makes me sound like a psychopath. How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End. Uh, it's everywhere now, is it possible to it? play Pulp Fiction? I've never heard of that game. Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know, but it's most likely linked to the gangs, if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. Violence has always fed on poverty, don't you think? It's a cruel law of the human condition. And selfishness is their rotten fruit. These days, my true colors are shining doctor, through. Yes, as it more. turns out, I Dartigan will sing a stupid song for a thousand dollars. That fucking bastard. We I knew it. I knew he was a I knew he was a fucking terrible person. May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died. Be honest. If anyone um, approach any single one of you in chat and say, you sing this song, I'll give you a thousand dollars. You'll fucking do it. I don't care what the song is. In exchange for food. You sicken me, good sir. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. My Jack was a docker. He died when my seamer was just a lad. Poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. <sighs> How do you pay the rent then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. He's very attached to the house he grew up in. It's not always. We all easy, have a price. But we get by all right. Do I, do I you know, I've asked everything from her. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Take care of yourself. So now we can go talk to our two other people that are related it's to her. It's locked, all right. I can't remember and the find last out some more there. stuff and level them up a bit more. I've been nothing before. Yeah, I know that feel, buddy. I go through those garbage cans a lot too. Evening, Rufus. Evening, Mr. Reed. I thought I would have gotten a hint for him. Maybe it's for the other guy. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. Nice pop in on that guy's face. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can I play any instruments? I played a trumpet back in middle school. I could not play it anymore, though. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburne. Playing a trumpet is like the worst and instrument to play in band too. You never get any good parts in the, in the in the orchestra. You know the only solo you get when you play middle school trumpet? It's the fucking siren and when you play Ghostbusters theme song. It's like do 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 That's all you get. That's your golden moment as playing trumpet in middle school. Like you get psyched up for that one solo as playing trumpet. Meanwhile the saxophone players and flutes are getting all these awesome bits. And you're like, do you want to play fucking trumpet? Taps only gets played at funerals. Not exactly something you do that much in middle school. Oh, I was pretty terrible at playing trumpet too. Don't you worry, Jim. Well, it is coming from personal experience. I just said I played trumpet in middle school. Sixth grade. I did it for one year. And it's like, yep, I'm done with high, I'm done with the middle school band. Okay, 
there's a something's happened right there but before we check that out oh we're gonna interrupt this guy for sure a vampire i love video game urinating animations i don't know why but they fascinate me you find them all the time anymore but they never look right because you know they have to censor it you best be off to so they, it's just someone holding their hand near their crotch and like leaning backward a little bit and it goes on forever. Normally, you can only urinate for like 20 seconds. It's an old story. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. Do I like chicken nuggets? Uh, depends on where the chicken nuggets come from. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. Like, compare McDonald's chicken nuggets to Wendy's back. chicken nuggets. Who could tell me then? There's a world of difference there. I'll try asking Tom what's about him. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly. So joyful. Why are you so cynical? Why are you so cynical? Cynicism if you ever eat at Wendy's, Sarayu, the only thing on the entire menu that is worth your time is the spicy chicken sandwich. Everything else is garbage. Never get Wendy's fries. Wendy's fries are terrible. Wendy's no is overall pretty bad. To rejoice, then. Though they did have a queso Life burger that I liked for a while. But that was like a one-time thing. Let me tell you a story. All right. Go on. A few years ago, when I no, I don't like their baconator fries because their fries are terrible. For good. Just because they're adding the cheese and bacon to it doesn't make it much mind. better. What kind of tragedy? It was a bomb. A bomb that exploded and killed many people. Metal and blood everywhere. Shouts. I miss the Five fire. Guys that used to be Broken not too far shop. from me. Five Guys was awesome. The tall street light. You lost people. Now those were some fucking day, delicious fries. I've lost everything. But you know what the worst part is? I don't even remember where it happened. I've drunk so much. Waffle fries. It, uh. Now I can't remember where it was. I'm pretty much positive on any I type of French fry, to be honest. As long as sorry, they're made well, Mr. doesn't really matter what it's shape okay. they're in. If you ever find the place, just leave a flower for me there. Even if you tell me where it is, I'm not sure I'd memorize it. Got another. Thing for this guy. What do you do for a living, Mr. Delaney? I drink. I drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. And what and do you do I to make the money more. for drinking? Don't you work at all? I'd love to, but I've I had don't sweet have the potato time. regular fries, but not and waffle fries. You, drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. Why do you drink so much? Maybe it's because I prefer dying slowly. Death can be so abrupt. Personally, I like to see mine coming at my own pace. You sound very sad, sir. That's because I am, Doc. I feel like I'm giving each and every one of these characters a therapy session at this point. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly. Does so your mother joyful. still frequent dockside bars? No reason at all to rejoice. I've been binging on Finster Films Life GI Joe specials again recently. Die. Is that it? Let me tell you. You, you guys are probably familiar with those, right? They're like they're like really old internet at this point, but they're like my first introduction to internet comedy. I remember downloading them on like dial-up internet before you know YouTube videos were a thing, or really any type of internet video was a thing. Another time, perhaps. When's the killing start? Well, we just did I'm a whole sure lot of killing. I want to hear but uh, you guys seriously story. have not heard of the G.I. Joe public service announcements and the comedy, the parodies of them? Well, you guys got to go on YouTube and Google that shit. What's this guy about? He's worth a whole lot of nothing. I feel like I don't know what happens in this chat anymore. It's Sometimes it can get pretty weird. This, everyone in this district is apparently sick. Inebriation aside, 
Do you need medical help? Yes. I feel sicker than usual these days. I'm all out of fatigue. Everyone here is fatigued as well. I will see you later. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. All right, that's obviously going to be very story related. There was a lady standing next to this too before I, before I talked to that guy. He must have taken off. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Here's a shout out to your little brother, Drew. Por favor. Hunter I'm guessing Por favor is his middle and last name. End. A vampire now, That's a fucking shout out, getting the whole Spanish thing really? wrong. I know what you're thinking. I'm just another Yes, Mr. Drew, por favor, moon, please. But I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist. And they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. This guy sounds like me trying to put on a voice. A man of science? Well, I'd be glad to enlighten you. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night as I I don't know what hour. it is about all the characters in this game, but they all have so really bizarre really? lower lips. Why is that? That seem like it's they stick out way too far. Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who From their teeth, there, that is. They have plenty of reasons to hide. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. Have He's you all got intimately familiar with our ba the back of this guy's head he yet? Because every cutscene is usually like me. this. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was Englishmen a child, have really puffy bottom lips. He was got molested. It. By a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Oh, Avioli, thank you for the five bits, dude. 500 bit. Oof. That's a lot. That's very generous. Five bits. 500 bits. Let me say that correctly. Thank you for that, man. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor boy. It's a shame I wasn't around. I think I'm sensing degenerate it's chat tonight. It's impossible to protect Like we're devolving everyone. somehow. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading I love you like all, a though. plague. I accept this chat and all of its flaws. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and no, 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 no. Investigating anything doors, unnatural. Are You're not going to tell me anything un unnatural, are you? How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. And they also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures yourself i mean of course i have what kind of question is that it's a dirty business believe me this guy's i just now realize this game this guy's name is ichabog throgmorton that is a i'm gonna say that's a cool ass name but it's also a name i would never be able to remember i was I actually looked up to see if this guy was called van helsing because he's talking about killing vampires I'm Ichabog Throgmorton. That is also the most English name I have ever heard. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population. You cannot make a more English name threat. than that, I don't believe. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. 
If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. We about the guard of pride. God, there's the so much words in this game. Of course, they're dedicated hunters. So many words. I, I A mean, little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> Were you ever tempted to join the guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. Yeah, we, we had a riveted discussion a about Dick Hurricanes last night. Best probably not to ask so about that. alone? That sounds risky. Vampires I mean, as a fan of words, like I can tell you predator. this game has too many of them. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. Wilmington... It's just a matter of observation. Munchen Shireton? Is that an actual real name? I can barely pronounce that name. Goodbye. That sounds like and the sound you would make when you're actually dying of an illness. Find Sean Hampton in the East End docks, gather information about Sean Hampton. We still have to ask people about this guy's location. We don't know where... Oh, I remember this place. It's been a while. It's locked, all right. This is where we talked to that doctor at. He's still here? No, he's gone. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Don't mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle, then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? Sean Hampton, Ms. you know Cavendish, him. Would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. Tell me all about your life in London. What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You best be more careful with what you say, sir. You look concerned, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. Level three, and she's worth a decent amount. If you're uncertain about your safety, if I have any here, complaints about this game. I have several complaints right about this game. For you. I got responsibilities, and it's not like I got the money to move anywhere else anyway. I will continue to let you discover what my complaints are as I play through it. This place seems. How shall I, I put think it? I've been pretty vocal Very with them. Colorful. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. Least it's not Biggest complaint yet. would be the pacing is so ungodly slow. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Hope yeah. Dote Nod's next game, uh, that bloke. twin Mr. something Hampton, another they announced today, will be a, a far here. sight different than this. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Twin Mirror, that's the name of it. Excuse my curiosity, but... Is there any game exactly slower than this? To be honest, something bothering you? I can think of in well, no game that's they... actually this slow-paced. That's complexion. meant to be an action game, an RPG kind of thing. I don't judge someone on their skin color. Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the color of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburn, and of course, Mr. Hampton. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know You're all food to me, lady. Well. It doesn't matter what your color of your skin is. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. 
Do I wish I had done Dead Space too? Anyone? Not really. This I already know what. I, the thing is, I've already played through Dead Space, so I kind of know what's going to happen. So a new experience, kind of even a bad new experience, kind of always trumps a experience you're already familiar with. He's healthy. She doesn't need any money, anything. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Can we talk to this guy outside? Doctor Good evening, Mr. Delaney. Drinks, what? Ah, oh, you're a doctor. Oh yeah, we already talked to him. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. I need to know where Sean Hempton is. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Well, might have to get around to it. Well, no, not really. My schedule for the next couple, the next two months until like September, when like September is going to be a packed month. But for the next two months, I really want to get Bayonetta 2 done. I kind of want to do the first Mass Effect. And I think there was another game I really wanted to get out of the way. And that'll probably take the rest of the two months. Tom, I need to find Sean. Because I usually can only manage two videos possible. a month. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? I don't think I'm going to be doing a Final Fantasy game this year. I kind of want to take a break from Final Fantasy, so I don't know if I'm going to be putting Final Fantasy X up for vote. The important thing is I find him quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west. Finally, we found and the dude. Go north when you reach the end of the pier. 100 bits for Red Dead Redemption. I would like to do Red Dead Redemption, but that's going to be a big video, and I don't think I have time. Besides, I'm going to be doing another Red Dead game this year anyways. I might go back to doing Red Dead Redemption at some point, though. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton. Are we are asking that. The sad saint was recovering up. Back. Why does your waitress feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse. Metal as Wolf always. Chaos. Isn't Metal Wolf Sabrina Chaos the game? Girl, but she can't help it sounds familiar. Do you think she has good reason to feel this way? Isn't that the game I'm where you play as the president in a giant I robot? Am. Or is that Truth a different game I'm thinking of? Than me, deep inside. Uh, I don't plan to send Far Cry 3. I might send Far Cry 3 and 4 eventually, but not right now. I already sent a Far Cry game. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. Thanks to people like I'll the see you later, Eddie Ollie. at the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private Ollie figure. Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. Something of a figurehead and antagonist point of view. Is there anything I can do? Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Give me a side Perhaps, quest. Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, I picked up so many side quests. Low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back. Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term yeah, we, We've hope. spent way too much time in this bar. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. I think we learned the truth about Sabrina or something. So we can, like, say we know why you're afraid of something now. You're still working at this hour. That's what I call dedication. Yes, it is. Uh, personal questions. Or not. Never mind. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Alright, on to the docks to find this dude. Because I think we've... Oh my god, there's so many people! off page of a diary 
Oh, that was for Sabrina. We got a new hint for Sabrina for some reason. For now, everything seems under. Good evening, Miss. I am Doctor Reed. I kind of hate the fact I that I have to introduce myself questions. to every single character to first learn about them. Want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor from the Pembroke. It Hospital. always feels exactly the, the same. Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity. What's the point of this game? To be Miss. a vampire. Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? What do you sell? Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. I just sell random junk on the street. Why not? We've got plenty of all this. There's like a guy standing right next to her. This way. Oh, his mom. His mom won't let him in. The era of Dickens. Hard to imagine someone not selling random crap on the streets. I don't. Th I don't think it would work very well. You. You have to do better than sell broken trigger parts to make some money. This is actually well after Dickens. This is like 1918. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. What's your fucking snogging in, babe? I think I just made up some English terms there. Snogging in, boat. Boss, you fucking snogging in, boot. I don't know why, but that actually sounds like something like some really hard to understand Englishman would say. Do you know where I can find Sean? I don't think there's any point asking me what my hope game I'm showing at. I hope they show at E3. Like, there's a lot of games I could say to answer that question. Oh yeah. But the, the only one I'm really hoping that hasn't been rumored yet is Until yeah, Dawn 2. I'll take anything else that gets announced, really. This guy's a level 4 mesmerize. And he's, wow, he's worth a lot. Are you some kind of vigilante? Am I interested in Days Gone? So far, it hasn't impressed me any with the way it looks. So you're a concerned criminal. Is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. I could kill you for saying that. I think they're giving us a guy like, yeah, you but can eat this nah, guy. If he's not, you don't ever feel bad about it. I can respect that. So, tell me about your gang, then. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Well, yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? This guy does not look like he's part of a gang. He looks like he's a banker. The boot boys work for me. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. What can you tell me about this part of town? Things ain't you left for a good hour. Nothing's us. happened. Welcome to the world we of Vampire. What they need, and we control this borough. No, well, no something I find really control. odd about this game. People They're really adamant about calling the game Vampire, yeah, well, but all the people in the game refer the to themselves as vampires. Weiner says if we can find more guns, we could be more efficient. More efficient? Really? You should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. Incredible. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. She's more smart than patient, my sweet queen of the docks. What can you tell no. me about this part of town? Think, well, you're not doing... Yeah, well, we can't be any more efficient. Yep. Incredible. I, yep. You know what? Yep. You're lucky. Good, thank you. Goodbye, good sir. I think he gave us a hint about this lady selling gun parts. 
Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Doctor. They go down there talking shit about what you, love. Boo Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. Someone is thirsty. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. It's a soft heart. Behind all your crude words and your attitude, I sense romance and a soft heart, Miss Cox. Romance? I have no time for such rubbish. I use Booth like I use everyone else. Oh, the hint. Oh, shit. I didn't know you could fail hints. Damn. Booth Digby looks. You have no idea how. Re hmm. What is it, Doctor? I guess you can't do I that over. not supposed to talk about these. Behind all your. Romance? I have no. Oh, well, that was a fail. You still use your husband's name, Edwina. Why is that? Why shouldn't I? He may be a bloody bastard, but I'm still his wife and his name means something round here. Are you aware of what happened to him? Yes. I'm sure he fought till the end and looked death in the eyes. The boys will mourn him. Except one of them, maybe. All right. Goodbye, Miss. We will. I think we've talked to everyone now. It seems that way, maybe. I don't see anything else on my radar. I'm a sucker fool. And usually over that way will probably be be enemies. Use a safe house though. Do I think the Bumblebee movie will be any good? Based on what history? Have any of the Transformer movies been good besides the original animated Transformers movie? I wouldn't put many hopes in it. It's locked. Do I think the dialogue is boring? It's not badly written. It's just not really that interesting either. It's just sufficient, is the best way to put it. They're not really talking about... I think what well, I think this game... Here's my. Here's how I would improve this game. I would have cut the number of NPCs now, by like half and focused on improving them a lot more, making each one more unique and more interesting. That way you could have kept the same social aspect of the game, but you would have had far more intriguing characters. I feel that's what the game is really, really hurting for, since it wants to be this social, you know, Experiment with vampires. You really need just engaging, memorable characters for that to really work. Right. This is where we found that Irish dude the last time, actually. What? Why? Why were you just sitting there watching the werewolf eat a guy? What? He was just—he just casually leaning against the wall while that werewolf eats someone. Well, he took care of the dirty work. I'll, whoa! No, never mind. Level twenty-two. We're not fucking with that noise. Now leave me alone. Yeah, you go back in there. He's got a name. I just now realized that. Fuck me. Uh, no, the only interesting character was that giant black vampire dude we met. I can't remember his name. It sounded like a demon's name, like Azrael or something.
Let's try that again, shall we? Those guys are in there getting killed by the werewolf again. Let me eat these these rats to get my blood back up. This is giant black despicable. vampire. That's no, it's not. That's literally what he was. I have this first. I cannot enter. He was literally. That's the only way to describe him. Was a giant black dude as a vampire. This is despicable. What compelling gameplay? Eating rats. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, take out the little dude first. That was my mistake last time. Get your weapons ready. This we time you get the ultimate. Summons more, I see. Up. Thank you, game. I think these guys just get continuously summoned, don't they? Camera angle Dardigan needs. Okay, you can, they do not stop summoning till you beat the big guy with the name. seen any cats in the game. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's use my ultimate on him. Back on him. He's down. Combat in this game is Euro jank as hell. That's pretty much the best way to describe it. Sheesh. The wounds on this corpse are deep. The result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. All right. So we actually have earned like an extra thousand experience from all this fighting. Uh, we didn't really suck the, all, all of their blood. That's why they don't die in combat. They knock you off before you can drink all of it. Where to next? Over that way. Yeah, don't get this game if you're expecting, like, really good combat. It's really just kind of feels like it was added on just so they could say they had a combat engine in the game imagine if life is strange had a combat engine it, you'd probably get something similar to this That took care of fighting two at once, at the very least. Oh my god! That leech is fast! Oh, he's running off in the wrong direction.
You don't know how to American measure. That is actually an excellent, excellent way of describing it. American measure. Okay, we gotta go up that way. Let's see what's making the noise down here. Just accidentally cast that on myself. Oh, thank you. Take care of one of them for me. I actually like that the AI fights each other. That's neat. having a long fight though made it my made my job easy though all right there's not much down here on the on this on the shore let's go continue our journey down the street bits from panda thank you panda i really need to get to that hideout though to level up before i go into there sir no civilians allowed are you bloody stupid die late i need your blood i really need to level up my blood drink in during combat so that can heal me more and also give more blood power because this seems to happen a lot. But while we're making our way to the hideout, let's continue fighting people so we can level up more. Let me suck. Yeah, I really need to level up my suck. Ooh, that's a bit too tough for me. They got two guys plus the red cape dude. This game is really making me want to play Masquerade again, though. that way it's locked hmm oh wow Kiri Namber thank you for the Twitch Prime sub that's your first time subscribing dude or girl, whichever one you may be. Make sure you use those emotes you just bought, and if you're at all wanting to, feel free to tell yourself about tell us about yourself in chat. Like this should be a safe house, but I didn't see anything. The guitar riff is awesome. Thank you. I didn't create it though. Don't give me that credit. I just chose it because I was tired of the senpai song as my sound effect. safe house. It should be over here somewhere.
40 imaginary internet points if you can tell me where that guitar riff actually comes from. And we found a new person to talk to. What was the senpai song? It was literally just called Simpa Notice Me Senpai Song. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. No, I mean the origin of that of that guitar Good riff. Evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. Are we talking to a the communist right now? A hardcore unionist, perhaps. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your royal highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pants. Have you come to continue to defame the proletariat class? May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever that is had a to wholesome message, your Mystic. Entire life? As I told you, I'm a doctor. You have to work a lot to earn that title. Oh, a doctor. Mm, born with money in a nice house, were we? Was Daddy a banker or a doctor himself? You don't like me much, do you? Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes and my job? Of course I am. Fuck, you're so blind. You don't even see your privilege. Yep. Uh, there's a good Lazy reason I'm blind. There's like a giant flashing disgusting. light coming off the glint of my shoulder pad. What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what. Just spend a few weeks here and then ask me that question again. If you're still alive, I mean. If you have something to say... Let's actually stop that right now. That I'm lightning engine is busted as oh. all jank. You want information instead? Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. You don't know me, Miss Paxton, and yet you see me. He hates me because she's like social, hardcore socialist your guys. Manners, your and clothes, I'm an evil capitalist. Your words tell me everything about you, sir. I know your kind, and you don't belong here. I fight poverty. You're right. I have never suffered from poverty. But that doesn't mean I don't fight it and its consequences. I really doubt you ever had to fight for anything in your life, Dr. Rick. You're a long-time lurker. You're, you're a disabled U.S. Army vet. Video games have been your almost a lifetime hobby of yours. And you also have a giant orange cat named Tang. Well, welcome, Kiri. We always appreciate some good veterans in the chat. Once again, thank you for your Twitch Prime sub as well. You and Daciana might get along. She's a vet as well. I think we've... Are you a trade unionist? I thought so. You speak of strikes and class enemy. Am I right to assume you're involved in trade union activism? You bet I am. Well, I was. Nowadays, I'm just another worker blacklisted by the big companies. No support from the trade union. Isn't the whole point yep. of trade unions? More vets in the chat can only be a good thing. Why don't they support you? A few nights back, I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Ugh. Some sort of militia in uniform. I'm sure they robbed me. You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a worker who refuses slaves. Is that like a giant crossword puzzle behind her in the background or something else? When it's a woman. Oh, you're a counterintelligence. Damn, dude, you're like way too above the pay grade of a Twitch chat to be here. But you're welcome anyways. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Alright. Uh, I think she, is she like the only one here? No, there's someone else.
I had another friend who was actually, I have a friend in real life who's actually part of counter army counterintelligence. He worked as a translator in Chinese. I think it was army and counterintelligence. I just know he's in counterintelligence and acted as a translator. Actually, now that I think about it, a good number of my friends are actual vets. Don't know how that worked out that way. Lucky, I suppose. How many has Dardigan killed? Well, we've killed a lot of regular, uh, you know, vampire hunters and vampires. How I like I like the question. How many has Dartigan killed? It's locked, all right. He's done it again, hasn't he? My God, the boy can't contain his rage. Oh, that's the dude we've been looking for all night long. He's right over there. But first, let's talk to this important character. I know there, she was here somewhere, right? Unknown. There she is. Come now, Lottie. There is still that, much work to the do. The coat you're wearing does not look like something you should be using while cleaning. Good Your evening. Aunt retired in February. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. <sighs> and I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Can you tell me where I'm Sean Hampton is Sean in the Hampton. room next door? Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Naps are the... I actually do not like taking naps because after I take a nap, you always think you'll feel refreshed after taking it when you, before you take the nap, but when you wake up from it, you feel way more tired than when you actually... before you went to sleep. I don't know why that is. Holy God, Aviola. A thousand bits, dude. That's like $49 you donate over the course of this of this game so far. Thank you, dude. Is it not dangerous to work? Glad you're enjoying the stream of the community, man. Legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. Are you homeless? Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. I have it's never felt good after taking a nap, sister. so I usually don't take them. What can you tell me about the Sad Saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton, the Sad Saint of the East End. He gave me shelter, and he's not always sad. I think a Catholic priest would feel pretty weird about people calling him a saint while he's still alive. Ravioli, ravioli, all the bits from avioli. Hey, someone actually made that rhyme work. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me. But a dandy doctor from the city like yourself? You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. She's healthy, so she doesn't need anything. What's her me She's mesmerizable as well. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. And if you get into trouble, you can always seek help at Sean Hampton Shelter. Ah, uh, Mr. Gamer, I see you have there. a new storyline for tonight. You really think I should go back to a safe? I commend place. you, good sir, for always, no. you know, coming up with some fiction for the chat. And help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those uh, the wet boot the boys, the, the worst name gang in the entire city. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. All right, it is time to talk to this Hampton dude. Yeah, he's right over here. All right, you like killed someone at the hospital, didn't you? That's what this is all about. Let me rob you blind before we do anything important. You 
You think those you think those are jarring? They in fact very much are. Avoid the long face, Doctor. Well, I can tell he's a vampire from the eyes. It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. You killed Harriet Jones. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? I am not convinced. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the river bank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. I'm intrigued. Very well. Another sewer level, you really? Definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I surrender myself to your judgment. Explore the sewers to discover Sean Hampton's secret. We'll find all the proof down there. Now that I'm seeing these chapters that we've already done before has had the word succeeded in it, I'm wondering if we can actually fail those. We need to go to the safe house first. That's like right over here. I believe that window will take me to it. Oh, 125 bits from Panda. This really is London, the gossip of the game. That's probably the most I accurate description I've seen of this game, actually. Have we talked to him or not? No, it's Ichabod Throgwarden. What's he doing all the way down here? like right behind me right there that dude's a level 19 I might not want to mess with him also need to see if we can make some more serums we upgrade any of our weapons. Weapon upgrades. You can upgrade your weapon to a new level with the acquired ingredients. It will inflict more damage and you will also gain access to customization slots. Let's see if I can upgrade the sword. We can, I think. Increases damage by 10%. Absorb blood points when the weapon hits. Oh, that could be pretty good. Go ahead and level up the Dragon Vein. Feels like downtown. I think this chat has been 90% people saying what this game is like, along with me also saying it during stream. How many descriptions have we come up for by now? Increase damage dealt by 10% or absorb blood points when the weapon hits. I, only get, I can only get one of these actually. I think I'll take increased damage. This will increase its damage even more. Increase stamina consumption by t enhanced handling or absorb blood points when the weapon hits. Decreasing stamina consumption sounds pretty good. Can't upgrade it for another level. What about my good old axe? I can upgrade this as well. Add three stun points when the weapon hits. Or decrease. Uh, yell yeah, that. 
It only goes up to level two, though. Need more common handle parts before I can upgrade my club to level three. Yell that. Oh, yeah, more unre Yeah, let's take more off the reload. Can we get both of these or just one? I'm not sure about that. It seems like I can get both. Oh, you can. You can only have one. Oh, shit. I just wasted some parts. No, okay. I have plenty of it, so it doesn't matter. We can also break these things down for parts. I should actually do that. Uh, give me all this. Small bag of junk. Why is there not a recycle all? This is really annoying. anything else now no not that anyways So we've upgraded weapons pretty well. Let's make some more tinctures for curing people of their ailments. As well as healing items for us. I don't really need a stamina thing. good that's all good we're good now one of them has an axe and is breaking in oh you mean the people outside of your house better call the cops then we should be able to level up now too all right we have almost 3,000 points I actually think I'm gonna get the medical bag so I can carry three serums now So that's a pretty cheap upgrade. And these will help keep me alive. I think bite. We need to upgrade that. Increase the damage inflicted when using bite. Increase your life regeneration as well. Since we use bite quite a bit, we need to make it more useful. one more bite, right? No, we cannot. What else can we get? I think that's kind of it for the time being. Mm. Alright, we need more points before we can upgrade anything else. Well, we could get increase the number of bullets we can carry. Oh, 
Oh shit, no, 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 no. Confirm. Uh, the character's face does change, I believe. Oh, those people are fully healed now, so we increase the stability of this place to healthy. Neato. So those people are in really good condition for eating now. Do you think you should try some Diet Coke? Uh, go for a Coke, Coke Zero. It's way better. Alright, so. Now we're gonna go to the sewers. Hopefully we're not completely underleveled now. We're level 14, so we should be good, hopefully. I'm gonna go back to the Dragon Bane. Alright, there we go. Wait, actually, no. Change something. Okay, there we go. I did not mean to use that, but okay. Nice. Or shoot that. I'm just wasting all of my stuff. Good luck, dude. Godspeed. I still do not understand how this system works. Okay, I, okay, I get it now. So that's that hand, that's that. Alright, we're good now. Let us go to the freaking sewers. Now we have our upgraded weapons and shit. I can't protect the whole city. It's hard enough to cover the docks by myself. Let us all pray this will be the final sewer level in the game. I feel that the game is getting a bit too, uh, you know, you know what, let's just throw another sewer level in there. That worked the past couple times. Uh, I've heard the term bros before hoes, not homies before hoes. Kill this guy first, the bigger threat. We found the sewer entrance. Are we doing airplane jokes in chat? Because we can... In fact, I want all... The chat should be nothing but airplane jokes and references for like the next two minutes. I demand it. That is a movie that is infinitely quotable. Surely you guys can do that. Excuse me. Surely you can do that. I oh, just wasted blood.
In fact, I'm cool with you guys doing airplane jokes, airplane one and two jokes all night long. That doesn't work. As well as throw in some naked gun, naked that gun jokes. Work. Really, any movie with Leslie Nielsen in it would be would be okay. Wrong plane movie, Ben Cam. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. You guys have you haven't seen Airplane yet? Oh wow, you you poor unfortunate soul. Oh, we gotta destroy those barrels before we can close that. Oh, I see. And then we'll go and do something that with this button. Work. Good thing that whole running water thing isn't part of the vampire rules in this game. We're about to flood all the London Underground. Yeah, the Dick Hurricane thing was not something that's... You don't really need to discuss that very much. We can bring that topic up again if I ever play... Uh, What's the name of that game? Dante's Inferno. Then, then the conversation will be very long indeed. Much like a dick hurricane itself. Congrats on only losing your little toe in your storyline tonight, dude. Rabbit Night and watch some shitty movies with Latindo. Fortunately, you can't go really go around watching movies on Twitch. Uh, see, we're doing creepy video game level, level number five, where we have stuff hanging on the walls and ominous graffiti. You know, it's really hard to make a game scary when you are a monster. I don't know why you'd even attempt that. Like, I'm a vamp- I'm a lord of the night. You can't really do scary once you actually are the inhuman monster. Kind of just throws off the whole thing how that works. Okay, we don't have the- we, we apparently do not have the ability to crouch. So we cannot crawl through this very large hole in the gate. Which is obviously the way we need to go. I can't believe I'm doing this. More rats, please. I think this guy would have developed a taste for them by now. This is despicable. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, we can turn into mist, but not to go through bars. Strange how that works. I cannot enter. No, just jump right down there. Sure, why not? Oh, it's that dude. And he needs help. That dude's got some fucking style. Look at those stripes. Maybe he doesn't need help. 
These maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the sewer dog. Hold your tongue, newborn, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. Are we fighting him? Well, shit. To respect the laws of Ascalon. It's level 18. I am Virgil Banch of the hand that crushes all. Boss fights are really janky as hell in this game. <coughs> oh shit, he hurts. Thank you for wasting my health healing item. I think this is like a Bloodborne fight where I stun him with a gun, a gun blast first. Oh, he's got a Shadow Doppelganger. Well, fuck me. Bl I am not... Blackula is actually a real thing. That's a real movie. an enemy stand. Can I go back and eat those rats to get my blood back? Because I just use up a lot of it. Please let the rats have respawned. I really need the blood to heal during this fight. Because I just lost my freaking serums. This is despicable. I have this thirst for blood. This there we is go. Despicable. I don't think you really need to put a modifier on a London sewer free of rats. I'm pretty sure any sewer will have tons of rats. It's not like London sewers are particularly worse than anyone else's. Like, I hear in, in France, we have the best sewers in the world. Why does my Frenchman accent sound like an Englishman? To respect the laws of Whatever, you know what the joke is supposed to be. Well, I love how these enemies can lunge 20 feet away from when they're attacking. that gun a bit faster, sweetheart. Foolish Echon. Well, shit. Oh, that felt like way too much of a lock on. Ultimate this dude. That did almost nothing. I need my stamina to rebuild. Turn to your apothecary and needles. Where do you go? Oh, he's got an alternate attack. I shall crush. I thought this guy was gonna be cool. Gotcha. Really? That's all his character was? I thought... This guy came and introduced himself to us earlier, and then disappeared, and then had a boss fight and died. That's all he was. 
the one character I liked the design of and was interesting. I thought he was going to be important. That's going to be like one of those fights where you like, after you do so much damage, they would, you know, run away or something. Well, thanks for the memories. Everyone needs to turn into the next stream to find out about the mystic battle of Mystic Gamer against Sentient Toasters. Gotcha. Thousand viewer stream will get. It's locked. What am I doing for Fourth of July? Probably, ha I'll probably have to work. At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. The poor creature is bleeding to death. He cannot be far. Hmm. We we suddenly a mine. That's obviously the way we gotta go, so let me look over this way. Well, shit, this looks like the way we gotta go, too. Mining the sewers for gold, of course. Yeah, that's 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 where you'll find the deep veins, you know. A lot of gold mines under London. How could he have made it this far? There's blood everywhere. He went up that way, so let's go down those stairs. I really hate when game designers do this. They put all these winding paths that have nothing in them and then you, they still all railroad you into the same direction. It's like, I get you want me to feel like I'm exploring but if they all go, if it's just a tunnel that goes, all, all the tunnels go to the same place, it's not really exploring. It's just like, here's a slightly longer path that you could have taken. Look at the frame rate on that dude in the background. He was like two frames per second. This isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. The Sewer Scowls territory. Oh, we find a new vampire clan. This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Ooh, I don't think anyone would be close I've to this clan. You from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Uh... Sean Hampton sent me. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Ekon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon. But I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. That's not hair, guys. That's like a wrap around her. It's like one of those shawls. Why was that creature after you? Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. 
What is Fergal? What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. What of this Ascalon Club? She's like a vampire. She's a skull vampire. They're like the Nosferatu the style of the vampire. They make the rules. They're the, 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 their they literally are the Nosferatu from Masquer the Masquerade. Essence. They even live in the sewers like they do. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. No, you're you're an Ekon vampire. You don't get to change that, unlike in Van Masquerade. Can he be trusted? Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the sewer skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack, but her body is so weak. So she got a Twitter account, that's I've what you're telling me. I've never seen it's like before. A political Twitter account. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. Alright, talk to the lady. your mercy will you end us we're at your mercy i like will these vampires they don't have you know conversation wheels oh bridget allow me to wander above these are good old classic night. npcs by god unpleasant. we're at your mercy Will you end us? Skulls seem more like lepers than they do vampires. Your place is not here. <sighs> Ascalon has stalked us for ages upon ages. Your spell is enticing. <laughs> However that's pronounced. Oh, that's the lady I gotta talk to. Okay, that talks about Ekons. They seem like a cross between lepers and goth kids. Well, really only that one lady we talked to seemed kind of goth with her way she was dressed. Every, uh, the rest of them are pure lepers. Before we talk to her, let's look around. Classic video game, how you play a video game. Don't go do the thing the game wants you to do immediately, or you'll miss lots of other stuff. Learned that in video game school, I did. Real thing, by the way. Bridget says you are one to trust. Old Bridget says you are one to trust. No, I'm not exactly a fan of Doritos, so no, you can keep them. We're at your mercy. Eternal you gratitude up? for your protection, Master. <laughs> There's not much up here. <sighs> Ascalon has stalked us for ages. You could probably also compare these guys to Morlocks. Bridget says you are one to trust. Yeah, money piles in video games are always deceptive and the amount of money they actually contain. That's nothing new. You remember the huge piles of cash you'd pick up in Grand Theft Auto a games, the old ones, and they'd only have like five bucks? Master.
Oh, there's still something down there we can check out. Moonstorm, how are you, dude? Welcome back to the chat. Everyone give Runestorm a big hello. Alright, let's go talk to the dead lady. Oh wait, there's one more place we can check. Real quick. <laughs> Yeah, that's how we'll probably leave the place. Dex is no Dex is never gonna be over a crabby phase. Cats have that that's a phase that comes back every once in a while to every cat. Wow, she she's been lifting a lot with that arm. Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm, yes, you were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask. What did you miss? You. Uh, us killing a lot of vampire hunters and I love really mainly questions. that and talking to people. As for the answers, you may not like them. It's really hard to actually miss something in this game, I found. Usually when you get back to it, even after several hours of missing the stream, It'll look very familiar to when you left. Your room. The blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. But the coward still won't kill. Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. How do you f Are you feeling okay? How do you feel? I, I just ate some seafood, see. doctor. I can't my allergies, move. you know. Oh, my, my body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over. And over again. Is it painful? Does the pain ever stop? It is not pain I feel. What's up with her hair? This game has some of the worst video game hair of all time, Rune. Every inch of my body, but at the same time, it always looks that bad. The only time the hair looks good is on the main character. It's the wrong place. And when other character, and uh, when, the only other time NPC character hair looks good. Is when they have when they just pasted his haircut onto their head. Everyone else looks like that. Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here. That's like that's not, not even the worst me. graphical effect in this but game. Like light will act like a lead body. light when it's blinking I off someone's wet surface of their strength. of his jacket. Or on people's eyes. It's a graphically kind of all over the place game. Why did you come here? And this and is made not? on Unreal Engine too, so I they don't really now. have much of an excuse. Leave me be. Will you respect old Bridget's wishes? Will you obey her? Bridget is kind. She only needs to keep me fed, and I'll be good. Hmm. So you desire to stay here? I wouldn't say this game is bad. Yes, I'd say it's I'm off the mark. Birds because it, it is accomplishing so what it speak. wanted to accomplish, which is to be Poor like this Harriet. social ex Always vampire alone. experience where you're like hunting down people and getting to know them. It accomplishes that. It's just the combat's super janky and it's very slow paced. Yeah, the light, the light, when light reflects off stuff in this game, it'll, especially on a character model, it'll look really bad. It'll just be like a lead light has been attached to his jacket and just blind you with a spotlight. Can't do it here because there's no light shining on it, but it happens all the time. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? 
Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are both undead. We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood and I wanted revenge and Sean pulled me from it. Brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. Hmm. Who was the murdered man? Who was that man? The yeah, one shoulders like a street. linebacker. Well, she's swollen from he her used to vampirism. Be my landlord. I lived here for really, many it's only years her one arm. falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. Shadows. Tell me what you saw. The shadows. They heard me and answered. Something in the deep darkness. Quick. Deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? How long am I going to stream? Till around 11.30. And now it is silent, but it is born of hatred. <laughs> and it will kill again. And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It, it whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you. This game went. would be better Questions as a novel. About me. I think I've just say? identified the root cause of the problem. Nothing, Doctor. This game wants I to be a book. Nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Hmm. I don't know if I learned anything there. I don't feel like I learned anything important. Go back to Sean Hampton. I'm getting the feeling these missions are always going to be like this. Let me rest now. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us. And I may be willing to answer more questions. Who? Uh, why live here? Why do you live here? Amongst the filth and vermin. Live. Here we hide. What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light, and of course, our past. What's the name of that phobia where you're really worried about holes in your body? This lady's gonna trigger that hard in someone. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the like cryptophobia or something like this that. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we have. If you have it, yeah, trip, tryptophobia. That's what I thought. That lady's just got a cheek full of nothing but holes. Just like ugh. your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most skulls I've encountered. True, I'm not like most skulls. Please don't tell me this girl is a romance option. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon, but it will remain mine. Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. 
For how long have you been in hiding here? Thankfully, I don't think have vampires have need of sexual relations anymore. First entered the city. Where did you hide before? So I probably don't have to worry too much about that. We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls groveling beneath the feet of our makers. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? Oh, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment. Yeah, her Echo. earrings are flashing really to hard for some us, reason. That's the lighting I'll effect I was talking about. To our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Any Mr. light reflections Hampton's in this shelter. game or like fireflies Just like we arrows. mentioned earlier. Like look at her her the flashing on her her, her, her pff, earrings. Nonsense. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. Alright, the only thing left to do is go back to Sean Hampton now. Yeah, this is Unreal Engine. That's why Don't Nod always uses it for their games. What? Are you alright, sir? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Don't you know this is a quarantine zone? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating We just walked the around epidemic. the hallway from this supposed secret society where all these skulls can. live really? for in hiding we'll from humans. Somewhere else. Walked and around the corner and here's I a dude hanging out. I said, go. Leave me alone, sir. This is our ancient la our ancient tunnel where no one has ever found us. Turn the corner and here's a dude living as a hobo. Sir, you have no idea what could happen to you if you stay here. Why don't you go home? For fuck's sake, do I have to punch you in the face to make you disappear? Leave me be! It's my duty to insist. Death lurks everywhere. I must ask you to Yeah, go I saw back. the trailer for Do Not Do Game. Here. Seems don't interesting. I'm better off risking the flu than catching a bullet. Am I clear enough? I see. Well, since you are obviously hiding from a threat, don't you have a safer place to go? Do you think I'm stupid? The Night Asylum, the Turquoise Turtle, even Miss Gillingham's Attic. I tried them all. No, this is my only chance. Huh. I wonder what this guy's deal is. Find out the reason why the terrified young man is hiding in the sewers. He won't tell us himself, but literally, like, he's, like, right here. You go down this tunnel, and there's an entire hidden society of vampires, like, right there, who are like, Oh, don't tell anyone we live here. Like, how is he missing this? Uh, well, I'm streaming probably to about 11.30 or 11.45, for those asking. You know, you might want to be wary of your neighbors. Sir, you have no idea. Yeah, well, he doesn't have anything new to say. I cannot enter. Oh, can't even go that way. Am I close to beating the game? It does not feel like it. There's still an entire district to go to that I haven't been... How many districts are there left? Yeah, there's one more district I have not gone to yet. Whatever this is. That's Whitechapel, this is the Pembroke Hospital, and this is the docks.
This looks like it's going to be the high society place. Look, we got a top hat dude and some other people. Downtown Abbey, maybe, or something? I don't, what, is Downtown Abbey a TV show or an actual place in London? It sounds like both. get out of here. That's where I came in. It's locked, all right. Okay. You tried to sub, but PayPal is fucking you over? Uh, well, thank you. Thank you regardless, man, for the attempted subbing. People make porn of everything. You shouldn't be surprised at Roblox porn. There's probably already porn of this game. In fact, enter. find the worst game you can possibly think of. There will be porn of it. Someone is getting off to it somewhere. An Ekon is like a... We, our main character is an Ekon. They're like the aristocrat vampires, the ones that can, you know, walk about in human society. While the Skulls are like mutant vampires that live in hiding underground. They're more like lepers than they are anything else. Yes, yeah, so there's porn of deadly premonition. Of course there is. It's locked. Why wouldn't there be? You guys are underestimating the internet right now. If there's one rule about the internet, it is someone is getting off to it somewhere. No matter what it is or how screwed up it is. Wait, you you could have sent me down this way instead of the sewers? Would you like to take communion with me now? Fuck you, game. That would have been way quicker. Are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. He's eating a person. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed. I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? Yeah, this guy is... Hmm. He's like a pillar of the community. Killing him, like, destroys the entire community. You protect the mortals and skulls. You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? We are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's the The mouth of every us. character looks odd in this game. What will be the result if you continue to assist both skulls and the living? For the last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's to change? Uh, what about the epidemic? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure of heart shall prevail. Is he an android? Are you asking if he's a Detroit character? You've turned Scal now. Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth. 
ordained by the Lord Almighty. I am a seeker of his glorious light. Well, you didn't accidentally kill Connor on your first mission. You just screwed up and didn't, you know, do things right. Does you got what you deserve. To you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London? Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Wouldn't that be the royal family, Not actually? The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. So you have the run of the place and no one's taken notice? As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Who is this old Bridget? I don't know, Doctor. She rarely speaks of her past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. Hmm. Harriet is so hateful. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own career, Doctor. DJ Prime, thank you for the tier one sub. Girls, guiding them to salvation. Make sure you use those emojis you just bought, dude. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <laughs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. So we have a religious vampire. That's kind of a unique twist. I will strive to emulate your merciful nature, Sean, but it's a difficult pledge to make. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges, you know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take, eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Spare, I envy the peace you found. We don't want to kill him, but do we? No, the, the important characters I want to leave alive in case they have more story stuff. Plus, I've already I been... Uh, there's other people I can eat here. In fact, I envy the peace you found and will remember it. There is love and compassion in your heart. You only need to give it wings. Thank you for your kind words, Sean. Continue your noble efforts. You are a good man in bad times. Keep to the light, my friend. Like all my flock, you have a home here. Any time you're in the neighborhood. Passed up a lot of experience for him. Oh, we've got a new mesmerized level too. We failed a hint during all that? Hmm. I don't know how... Shit, I guess I said the wrong thing. I just screamed. It's locked, all right. That guy could have sent us to that lady through that door. 
and said he sent us through the sewer. Oh, thank you for thank you for the love, Jim. Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Well, shit on me. What's in his hands? I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. You never heard of this game? It only came out a few, day a few days ago. Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? Oh, I must go there. Did someone kill our mom? Mummy. No. What did you see? Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? You mean the body behind me? Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Are you afraid? Why is it that you sound so afraid? You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well, it beggars belief. Uh, I think that's everything for him. Yeah, we've already talked to him before. Goodbye, and good hunting. Maybe Mr. our Rockmore. sister came back from the, back from the dead and killed her mom, or kidnapped her. These two are like mother and daughter, right? Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. Uh, this game has both FXAA and TXAA, uh, Rune. I think I have it set to TXAA right now. Yeah, it has both FXAA and TXAA. Use TXAA? All right. You see what happened? Did you see what happened? Fixes no. the shimmering. You, you look like oh, it looks like you did fix the, the shimmering. From work when I heard an awful scream, and there was this man, dead, just in front of the building. You saw nothing at all. No, I told you just that awful Bless be woman he room. scream. A woman scream. God of you know. Are you sure? Of course. Graphics it was options. Terrifying. I thought it was my sister, so I ran. But it was a man I've never seen round here before. She's Goodbye, got nothing new to tell us. What about you? You again? What do you want? Did you see what just happened? No, I didn't. And I don't care. What really? do I think of this game? Uh, Why is that? Because only get it if you people. really like the social aspect of talking to everything. Me. Good riddance because that's mainly me. what you're going to be doing in the game. Combat isn't really worth it for this game. So it's mainly if you really want to role play as the vampire in London. Worth a thousand. Not very much. Well, it should be worth more once I unlock her hints. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Yeah, I still don't understand why I get uh, frame tearing in this game, though. This is on a G Sync monitor, no less. And I still get frame tearing. I can't. There's not another. I've played far more graphically intensive games in this, and I still get frame tearing all the time. All right, we, uh, where are we headed now? Okay, we're headed up here to the West End. It's like the last district, actually.
Fixing it would, would require changing any entry from true to false. I probably forgot to disable smooth frame rates. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Other than that, the, other than the frame tearing, the game runs fine. I haven't had any, any real issues with it. It's just that that pops up sometimes from time to time. I've noticed that it's usually like here. I'll, well, you guys won't be able to see it, I don't think, but it's like right here. Actually, you can see that. Well, no, you can't. It, it looks a lot worse on my screen than it does on stream. But that lighting has like massive, like literally black bars. Yeah, you, it's not. You guys can't see it on stream, but on my end of my monitor, this light flashing, there are like gaps in the light where like there's like these black shaded bars in the flashing light. It's kind of weird. Then there's also regular frame tearing that appears. I think it's probably just a bit poorly optimized. All right, we need to make what crafting? Yeah, I already know about crafting. Study the blood sample. Generation serum. Make more of these. I guess I'll meet some more sick people. We are going to a new district. Hey, Mr. Gamer. Have a good night, man. We upgrade weapons anymore. No, we still need good handle parts. Reload my gun, too. How's the crafting? It's pretty bog standard. Nothing really impressive about it. All right, 1700 experience. Can we upgrade our claws or blood spear? No, that requires 2000. Those are expensive, the attacks. As is the healing. Uh, I think we need more stamina right now, though. Yeah, we'll put all this into stamina. Alright, we're level 15 now. Christian faith or cult? What is immortality? Having your name inscribed in history. Raising children who will honor your memory. Earning your place among the saints of heaven. John Hampton, founder of the Hampton Asylum in East End, has his opinion on the matter. Eternity comes to those who bear divine presence in themselves. Mr. Hampton, also known as the Sad Saint, for his unequaled empathy towards others and his constant pity for their plight, has created with his asylum a haven for lost souls. He keeps the poor fed and gives them a roof to sleep under. Yeah, I've seen Samurai Jack. Great show. Still, the asylum has now been closed for a few days, and its last accessible operations took a turn towards cult-like worship. If hearsay can be defined as heretics, can be defined as faith gone adrift, Sean Hampton and his flock may have been turned into heretics. For the first time since I have known the sad saint, people speak ill of him, and the mysterious chants heard through the closed doors of the shelter worry more than they encourage. As a possible consequence of his suspicion, the sanitary situation of the docks has drastically decreased, Deprived of place to rest, the poor get sick from sleeping rough, preferring to catch their death under the stars and join an unknown cult. That alone says enough of the tarnished reputation of the sad saint, a reputation that will soon be restored only way when the doors of the asylum open once again. It seems like you're damned if you do, damned if you don't, when it comes to the pillars of the community. It doesn't really matter what you choose, it's going to make bad things happen.
I mean, holy shit, I had this this place at healthy a few minutes before this happened. Then just all of a sudden he's just like, he's missing now because I spared his life. So it goes down to 63%. That's really dumb. All right, whatever. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to use the restroom real quick and get something to drink, and then we'll go to the next, the final actual uh, borough or district in the game, actually. All right. <clears throat> the good news is, once we actually arrive in this new district, we'll have the the this this once we talk to the last of these remaining people, that'll be most of the talking in the game out of the way, I believe. We'll have met all the characters and introduced to their stories, so we won't have to spend all so much of our time yakking, having our ears yacked off. Man, Whitechapel is messed up right now. Probably because there's so many sick people. I could probably make it a lot better by going there and treating their illnesses or something. It's ironic that the docks are the, is the healthiest place with only one sick person in it. All right, where are we going to... Oh, these are all the side quests I've picked up. Hmm. Maybe I should do some of those eventually. All right, let's see what our path to the next place is. Yeah, we have to go back. Now there's a bridge that goes right across it next to us, and that takes us into the north docks and up into the west, west end. Track the actual vampire culprit. Let's do this mission tonight. Oh, hello, Dex. You finally decided to show yourself, did you? Here, I'll throw you 
your toy. Is egg no eggplant is a uh, an emoji. Eggplants are not real outside of the internet. They only exist to to be really stupid emojis that everyone uses. Don't know where you guys are getting this this absurd idea that eggplants are a real thing, or possibly a fruit or vegetable. I think this is actually where the the game started here in these docks. Right over there, so this way. Best be on your way no, I never send eggplant emojis. Step away, sir. Yeah, that's technically the penis emoji for some region. These enemies are getting strong. I'm guessing that's garlic they're spraying, not bug killer. I mean, it has to be, right? I don't think I can kill, take the 22, level 22 and level 20 guy at the same time. Let's see who wins this fight. Place your bets now. We have a werewolf versus a priest and two guys with torches. Looks like the werewolf's about to go down. I can I need your blood. Also, I need your experience. That would give me more blood after I level that up. Okay, how much further away is that? Okay, he's straight down here. Hopefully not up on that bridge and down below it. Can't keep throwing your toy for you, kitty. Okay, these enemies are getting real strong. These are level 22s. You get the, uh, the ultimate. In the herd. Wow, that doesn't even kill them anymore. Now, uh, it's also really hard to stun them in combat now, since they're so much higher level. So it's really hard to drink their blood and restore my blood power. I'm guessing it applies a penalty if you're under level against an enemy rather than actually just go by straight stats. Oh, there's a chest. I'll see you later, Raven.
Okay, he's in that building. That's where the objective is. Matthew, welcome back, dude. Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. This is it. What's in there for me? Hmm. There's been a fight here. I actually have can't remember why we came had to come to this place. Oh yeah, we found a body outside that place that belongs to our mom or something. I almost forgot about that. Oh, you're a you're female. It, it's a it's a bunny. Congrats on that. Uh, we have learned nothing about his sister, which either t which tells me one of two things: either she's completely unimportant as a character and is just there to serve as like motivation, or there's going to be a twist somehow, and she actually for, there's going to be a twist involving her. This window was shattered with violent force. Someone's been pulled through it and dragged through the street. Who could have done that? One of those two things will happen. It's more than likely, though. It's just like, oh, we didn't really <laughs> give her a character. Does this blood trail lead? Who knew who knew vampires spent so much of their time ruffling through the garbage? Okay, then went that away. It's locked. Hasn't M. Night Shyamalan kind of revived his career enter. recently, though? He had, like, some successful movies. Okay, that... Don't need to go down there. That's back to that place full of... Yeah. Best turn around if I were you. That guy I can deal with. You lost all interest in the plot of this Are game? We there? had to find the plot before you can lose See interest. Oh, you douche. Oh, those things do not heal me that much anymore. You're rustling by the garbage cans. Thought raccoons turned out to be vampires. Well, I would say of all the animals other than vampire bats, Raccoons are the best candidate to be known as vampires. Mainly because of their shimmering eyes in the darkness. And that they're ungodly little vermin. Who, you know, they trick you into thinking, oh, look how cute it is. But then you get up close to it and it'll take your balls off. You're surprising. Occasionally, you make a good point. We're being misled. Or worse, we're being baited by leeches playing a nasty game. Oh, that is that our mom stapled to a tree? Hmm, that's that's not gonna go over well, is it? Get them weapons ready! We found Oh, running out of stem in this game sucks so hard. I think that is our mom.
Before we confirm it, let's loot everyone. Mommy? Maybe it isn't. No, it's some other victim. Only a golden watch in her pockets. Take the watch. We probably just got framed for her murder now, though. Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out. The marks on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. Hmm. I see you. Oh, goth vampire chick. What do I think right about then. what? It's a sick game. Oh, why do they but need two no Joker movies coming at the same time? Because Warner well Brothers. That's why. You guys know how desperate Warner Brothers is to make the DC universe happen, right? That's why they're rush they keep rushing everything. The Vampire Club. Do you think vampires hide in the dodgy areas of the hovels of London? No, they hide in the highest clubs and fancy houses of the West End. Uh, just it's a pamphlet about vampires. I read all these? I think I have. I didn't really care much for Jared Leto's Joker, though. Didn't impress me any. Let's let's heal and let's get all of our stuff back by sleeping for the night. I don't really need to spend any points on anything just yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe the spring would work though. Yeah, let's go ahead and get spring. Why not? Now we can do like a Jedi leap to our enemies instead of having to close in on them. Heath didn't get killed by the roll. He he was just a drug addict. That's what killed him. <clears throat> it's locked, all right. Nasty game. These guys respawn. Damn it all. It's running in. And it doesn't let you like teleport away. The reason I went to sleep was actually to get my health back, and now it's all gone because they respawned. Wow. I have the best chat on Twitch? I think so. Actually, equip those freaking.
It is equipped. Why is it? soon. Oh, could you guys stop with the fucking lunging? I hate the combat system so much in this game. Uh, see you later, Zykeba. Thanks for joining us tonight, dude. Let's go meet the Shadow Walker or whatever she is. I guess it's gonna be a new breed of vampire. I don't have stun. I, the, uh, well, I do. I have my gun, which does kind of stun, but the stun. Guys, the combat is never gonna be good this game, trust me. No amount of. Why don't you use this or that? It's gonna make it better. It's just garbage. Discussing what cosplay we're all going to do in chat. That's a good topic. Follow the shadowy figure. Well, they kind of have to show me where she went. Jonathan. What was that? I saw something up there. I won't let you escape. Okay, this seems like it's a pretty linear path right now, so I don't have to worry about losing her. You're very fast, but I'll catch you. You're looking for ideas for a costume of your mom. Hmm. How about the you can you, uh, how about the like the what's the healing lady in Overwatch that shoots people with healing bullets? How about that? Though that'd probably be a hard costume to make. It's probably actually never actually never mind scratch that. There's that's definitely too hard to make. There's only so many good mom characters you can actually do that to. She went over that way. Anna, yeah, it's, it's been a while since I played Overwatch. I can't remember the names anymore. Let's go back to the hospital. 100 bits. Celebrating that my son got a scholarship for high school. Holy shit, dude. Congrats. Give your son a great big congratulations for me. You have to be pretty proud. They've all been butchered. Well, at least I didn't have to do it. Back to the freaking graveyard, right? Game likes reusing its areas over and over again. She's obviously very high level. She's killed everyone here already. Prepare to have my entire body wrecked. Not that one, though. Oh, some enemies I'm way stronger than for a change. 
Well, I'm not way stronger then, but I am over this guy's level. I might still die to him just because of the freaking combat system, how Yankee it is. They're rebooting or remaking Star Wars Galaxies. Uh, I don't really care about the MMOs. I can't believe not an interesting mind. This. I hear someone saying, "Help me." Oh, I remember Clay Cox. Oh, I didn't realize that, but if you actually kill people in this game, their graves probably appear here in the cemetery. I'm sure I hear someone yelling, help me. It's probably another optional thing. I did have a friend who was also really big into City of Heroes. But I've never been able to get into an MMO in my life. And I don't expect that to change now. In the name of Christ, someone help me! Help me! You! What have you done? Vicar Larrabee? What happened? Demon! Hell Scourge! Son of Perdition! Vicar! Vicar! Jonathan's no demon. He's just He's picking up my mom. a soul. Returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary? Is it really you? Oh, it's me, all right. That's our sister. I knew it. Precious brother. What is mother doing here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion. All smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother, say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his But she didn't drink any of our, our blood. Jonathan How did she turn into a vampire? The first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. I'm sorry. Let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Of course. You can speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were, in front of me, on a dark pier. The hunger had taken me. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again, as you did when we were children. <laughs> it was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug. A tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary. I thought I had murdered you. I tried to end myself. We've been through the same horror. We are a disease, Jonathan. A sickness that corrupts all it touches. All we kiss and all we kill. Look at me. Admire your ilk. I'm so sorry. Apologies will not suffice. 
I demand reparation. I want a miracle. Are you a miracle worker, Dr. Reed? No? <laughs> I'll show you mine then. The family Reed, reunited and complete, living forever in a red sea of eternal love. Time to go, mother. Not mommy. Say hello to my son. For Mary, me. wait. I have made friends with vital knowledge, vampires. We are not alone, Mary. With time, we can learn to live almost as we lived before. How long? What? How long will this masquerade continue? I've been watching you. All these knights in Whitechapel pretending you're still a doctor. You believe you're just fighting a disease. But it's you, the disease. Jonathan, you! I'm a scientist. I'll find a solution. Let our mother go, please. You're always the one to sway me to reason, Jonathan. But before, your motivations were always pure. Now you're tainted. Let her go! She has no part to play in this. <sighs> Very well. Gonna stick a hand through her chest. Have you heard our good doctor? You can go home, mother. Go home and rest in peace. Yes. I'll go home. And rest. <laughs> it's so easy to make them obey or forget. Okay. Puppets for our pleasure. Just letting her live. I've seen you have your fun. You are mad. That's what I am, Doctor. Mad. I was beginning to wonder. I I've been hearing these voices in my head. One in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my ear. <laughs> Mary. No, don't! Time to die, brother. And this time for good. Seems forced a bit. You Ooh. killed me, brother! She used a cross as her weapon. Gotcha. We can drain blood from the, the vicar guy. Oh, yes. let's not stand in that. Oh, can you stop that, please? Give you my ultimate. Ow. Oh, oh wow. Okay, I know not to stand next to her when she does her vampire roar. How did she turn into a vampire? You have to they specifically said you have to drink blood to become a vampire, and she did not drink our blood. I have to really walk all the way up there. The faith in the cross that repels vampires, not the cross itself. I've, I've, I've known that lore before, but it sometimes they apply it to how their game works, or their, their lore works, and sometimes they don't. Hope I can skip that cutscene this time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rewatch the cutscene where he killed her because I am dead certain he did not give her any of his blood when he bit her. He just bit her and she died. In the name of abomination. All right. Okay, careful.
Am I stamina to come back? Back up! You left me kiss me again, sweet brother. Okay, that's worthless to use that on her. Let's use my ultimate. Damn it, I was going to use him. He healed herself. I should have actually bit him before she had a chance. I've learned my lesson. Next time, I will kill the priest. Teleport garbage. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Rest in Yeah, it's really hard to dodge her attacks when they're, they're all behind you. All right, this time I'm going to kill that dude before she can drain his blood. I've learned my lesson from that. Well, she's a boss. She's supposed to be stronger than me. She's actually not that high, much higher level than me. Just like, I've been fighting enemies that are her level before, so I should be able to beat her. She's probably been drinking a lot more people's blood, having less restraint, I'm guessing. Or just video game reasons. I had to make her stronger. One thing I really, really hate about this game is that when you respawn, all, this, all the consumables you've used don't respawn like you're just respawning before you started the fight. So all those tonics I had for, like, injecting myself are now gone. As are my bullets, just about. Just shit. Most of my bullets, anyways. But all the health tonics I made, they're gone because I use them during the fight. Those, it doesn't put the... It doesn't respawn you, like, this, before you, the fight started, so your consumables just disappear forever. That's really pissing me off. Same with your blood, your blood magic. All right, I'm gonna kill that dude, starting right off the bat. Assassin. Give me your blood. I need it anyways. Jonathan, kill him. Revel in your true nature. Stop her from doing that. Rest in peace, that did not hurt her because she was in a she had invincibility frames. Come on, I need my stamina back. That kills me instantly. It's hard to tell if she's going to puke blood all over the place or do a vampire scream. I thought she was going to puke blood again so I could just wail on her for a while. Twenty-five bits. Thank you. Thank you for your support. I almost had her the first time I fought her. Then I just got killed by a scream. And then the second time she healed herself off this dude. Shit! Get away from him. Jonathan, kill him. Revel in your true nature. You 
Wow, she came out of that animation quick, didn't she? Out there in time. You've burned away Nurse Crane's mind. You're a monster. Come on, yell again. Get away. What have you done? Oh. Can you lay off? Combat so fucking janky as fuck. In this grave. Kiss me again. I'm out of bullets almost. Well, my ultimate has one hell of a recharge on it. War. Because you spared Sean Hampton, don't expect the same mercy from me. Heal. Take the opportunity to heal. Can you give me a fucking really? Oh, that freaking auto lunging shit when they attack really, really gets under my nails. If I could have got my ultimate again, I could have killed her. Her tracking, yeah, that that's the track, the t hit tracking on a melee attacks like that is a sign of a really garbage combat system. I I cannot think of a single game that uses that kind of like hit tracking for their attacks. That has never been just annoying as hell to play. No, this isn't Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 doesn't feel cheap when you die. Well, not all the time. Jonathan killed him. Revel in your true nature. Let me use my club. That does more damage. Come to me, Jonathan. Let my stamina build up. Ultimate time. No, yet. Roar. No! You've burned away Nurse Crane's mind. You're a monster. Roar again? Oh no. Oh, I said it's impossible to tell when she's gonna roar or spit blood. I think the sword is actually a little bit better. Now she's gonna roar. Because so annoying. Sean Hampton, don't expect the same mercy from me. Abomination. Get away. What have you done? Shit, be careful. Run. If I can get my ultimate, she dies. Oh, no! God! So garbage! I need to use my ultimate right off the bat so I can have it recharge in time for that final bit. She just tracks like a... 
Oh god, that tracking is so intense on that. You can sense the rage. I hope you can hear it. Is this coming through loud and clear? Didn't mean to do that. Thank you for that. Jonathan, kill him. Revel in your true nature. Ultimate, right now. Nope. She does the same animation for howling, which kills you instantly, and her blood flower shit. Enough stamina, you're just dead. You can't back up enough. Oh. I just hate the fact that she just tracked you so hard. It just feels so cheap. Thank you, Don't Nod, for your second failure of a combat system. You would think after the first, after Remember Me, they could have gotten it right. This looks like it might be a, the me bringing back the fuck this boss fight in particular moment. I haven't used it in a while. This one might get a, get a mention of it. You got this dart. Hopefully. Hopefully I got it. Do I have any tonic? I don't really want to use my tonics because I'll lose them if I use them and then if I die. And I think I've used them all anyways. You can only craft at tables, so I can't craft right now. Give me your blood. Jonathan, kill him. Revel in your true nature. Nope. Back away. Ultimate. Air juggler. Stamina build up. Stamina running out of stamina is basically death. Oh come on. made her blood flowers again. Oh. Come on, lady. Give me a break. I need my ultimate. Back up. You killed me, brother. Come on. Ultimate time. This won't be enough to kill her though. Yep, roar. Because you spared Sean Hampton. Don't expect the same mercy from me. All right. Me stamina. Kiss me again. Uh, 
Alright, focus. Die, die, die. All oh, the fucking stamina shit. God damn it. Fucking Christ, I hate you. Whew. Press X if you predicted I was going to lose right when I had her dead. What tonics do I have left? None. No tonics. Oh, you... Jim, you've heard me rage at games before. This can't be the first time. God, just lock on her, please. Oh, wonking it. Shit. I can't take much more of this. Alright, I did really good damage there. Stay out of the blood flowers. Back off, no stamina. Do my palms be sweating this much? Back out, fuck. Oh, she got me two of them. And a roar. Oh god, these things are everywhere now! Give me my ultimate, please. Kiss me again, sweet brother. Please, ultimate. You killed me, brother. I'm out of stamina. This is bad. Very bad. Give, give, give me a break. Get caught on some geometry, please. This is why in Dark Souls the enemies have stamina as well. Or something like that. Just keep healing. I need health and stamina before I use my ultimate. Assassin. Ultimate time. Stay dead this time. Oh. Sheesh. Well, brother. It's time to bring this conversation to an end. Forever. We can probably choose a spare, no, can't we? I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. Leave it 300 bits, Matthew. And for you, Skither, and for your 100. I'll kill them all. The kind Doctor Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. Oh, no choice at all, actually. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. Well, that won't really matter to her. At last, I can forgive you. Oh. 
Would I have spared her? Probably not. I was in a really irritated mood. Oh, it's not a cutscene. I was wondering why he was just standing there. Panda Activist, thank you for your 200 bits. My palm, my my Xbox controller is covered in sweat. No burner, burner. Throw that lantern on her. Exploded like that girl from Dracula Dead and loving it. That's a movie I haven't thought of in a while. One of Leslie Nielsen's more under underappreciated movies. Blood. As I shed one last red tear for my fallen sister. Oh, he's crying blood. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not such sadness. The flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning Maximum survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire, born anew into an age of death and pestilence. While plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater no, the game isn't over. are still to come. There's still another district to explore. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. At least we got some good experience from that. Find the origin of the epidemic in West End. Dear Dr. Reed, I hope this letter quickly find, will quickly find you, for I need to speak to you as soon as possible. The situation is evolving very quickly in the West End, and I'm convinced we are all now in great danger. The Guard of Priwen has launched a great hunt in London, and for a few nights they have been actively searching and killing for any econ they can locate. Lord Redgrave, chairman of the Ascalon Club, recently contacted me. He wishes to meet you immediately. Please come to my mansion any night that suits you. We must discuss all of this. With this letter, you will find an official pass that will allow you to go through any barricade or quarantine checkpoint throughout the city. Your friend, Lady Ashbury. Am I going to watch the new Spider-Man movie? You mean the the Spider-Man universe one with the that they just the animated one? I mean, uh, I'm not sure. I don't really know much about that the alternate Spider-Man character. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of Spider-Man. Oof. First things first, we need. Potions. So many potions. Hmm. Take all these. Do we have anything to upgrade? No, we need maybe we can buy good handle parts from that guy. We thankfully we didn't kill him. Do I have to like Spider-Man or something? Is everyone going to be mad about that? Like you don't like Spider-Man? This guy doesn't like Spider-Man. Holy shit. Do you about the guy that streamer who doesn't like Spider-Man? Fuck him. Fuck him and the horse he rode in on. Spider-Man's cool. No, don't really care for Spider-Man. I have to be honest. Jonathan, old chap. How are you tonight? I've seen little of you of I, I can't wait to see the petition after the stream has started to, like... Please, Twitch, uh, ban this user of from course, ever streaming on your platform. Not, I he doesn't like Spidey. The situation has been tested around here. I won't deny it. 
but we still stand. Open West End. Have you any reliable friends in the West End who might assist me? Unfortunately, you will be alone. Except for our ravishing red-headed acquaintance. I mean, course. don't get me wrong, I'm gonna be sending the hell out of the Spider-Man game. But I'm just not a huge Spider-Man fan. What about the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? Where are they? There are only a few of us, and most others would not speak to you. I am the black sheep of our brotherly flock, you know. Hmm? What of my commission here at Pembroke Hospital? Nothing to fear, Jonathan. Your position here is in no jeopardy. You remain one of us, and you are always most welcome. What do you want to ask me, Raven? You can ask me directly. What news do you bring? The news is not good, my friend. We try to keep the epidemic at bay, but street violence is escalating Yeah, I'll be quickly. streaming tomorrow. How bad is the epidemic? It is killing the infected patients faster. In less than two days now. The only blessing is that they are contagious for a shorter period. Tell me more about the violence. Jeffrey McCallum seems to have sent his war dogs like, on, a be beating this game tonight. on a nightly basis, Prewen patrols exterminate every skull and vampire they find. Have they come closer to the hospital? No. This they guy is my Alfred. You were... I should have realized that buildings. sooner, but you were right. But they're growing in numbers. They must be recruiting heavily. I have received an alarming letter from Lady Ashbury. Dizzy. She wants me to meet her at her house. Thank you, Dizzy, for that awesome Twitch Prime sub. Then you are twice Everyone give Dizzy a big welcome to the I chat. Have never been invited I can't tell if Dizzy's new mansion. or not. But, but Dizzy, make sure you, if you're new, controls, introduce yourself, please, if you're not shy. And make sure you use those emotes you just bought. But thank you for your sub. Why have you never entered the lady's house? You are one of her good friends, are you not? My dear Jonathan, you have no idea how reclusive the good lady normally is. Nor in what great esteem she must hold you to let you into her domain. Is the quarantine serving any purpose? It is helping slow the propagation of the Thank epidemic. Thank you for the, the sub, Dizzy. It means a lot to me. As long as we have no clue to its origin, its efficiency is limited. Thank you, Edgar. I'll we see you later, Raven. Again. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully we can beat this game tomorrow. It's locked. Alright, is there actually anything new here at this hospital, or is it just like, go to the new place? I do need to see if I can buy parts from that one guy. So I can upgrade my weapon. It's locked, all right. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. I haven't learned anything about you, have I? Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. This dead flesh needs it. Oh, please spare me, Dark Queen. Spare your feet. Oh, yeah, the crazy lady over here. We haven't talked to you in a while. Say something interesting. I wonder why the gods Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Nope, haven't learned anything new to unlock for you yet, have I? Do I have any... No, I don't have any headache stuff for I'll you. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark. To I need to heal activities. a bunch of people here so I can raise the status. Because a lot of people Good here evening, are sick Mr. as hell. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? There's what six really chapters in this happened? game. All right, so we're on chapter four right now. German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. How do I feel about hot women in video games? How do I feel about hot women in general should be the question. Like, I'm usually for it. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured. As long as it doesn't look ridiculous, like... Like, I, I, I am definitely against boob armor and other stupid stuff anybody. like that, but hey, I can appreciate a pretty woman. Mm. 
Reconstructive surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I, don't I know a lot of people don't like that these days, the but hey, I don't feel that that's I'd a controversial statement. Just be forgotten. Guys, did you hear about this streamer who says he likes beautiful women? Oh, fuck, fuck him, right? God, what a fucking horrible, horrible person. Tell Let's me get his stream really banned. Happened, then. I went with a whore in Rouen. Sign the petition today. Dead drunk, I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. Uh, Bayonetta kind of weirds me up because her, her legs are like 99% of her body. The girl was long gone. No, Boob Fiction Armor is just ridiculous up. because it's actually in a, to burn. completely inaccurate. It would not work as armor. You would like break your sternum. How close are you to Miss Horcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for no, I'm not super annoyed. My annoyment literally extended only to that one Every boss fight. She I'm just trying to be bed, funny right she now. She treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless. So right, you apparently really doesn't like the sad Raj voice. The sad Raj. Inside I happen to like sad Raj voice, but I don't want to I'm overuse busted it. busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. You let her bite you? So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain. It's super cringe, it's but it's also super once. funny. She could decide to bite less. Like all of my voices aren't super cringe. Patience. And it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. Sad Raj sounds vaguely racist. Well, as long as it only sounds vaguely racist. I'm okay with vaguely racist sometimes. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Who is the female voice actor that plays Asian cops in video games? Uh, I forget her name because she I haven't seen her in a game in a while, but I know what you're talking about. She was in the couple of different games that I played right around the same time, but I don't think I've seen her in a game for a while. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Yeah. Damn. The pain. Where'd Vampire Girl go? I had something to say to her now. I can cure his anemia too. You gotta forget about evening, that. Mr. Elwood. Hey. Soldier, do you need assistance? Not really. I think you caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead. Yet yeah, smiling inside, Dr. Reed. Give him the medicine. As long as you remain here, I will make sure. Yeah, there's you don't have Devil to May Cry 5 has been leaked has been rumored for a while now. About it. Damage is done. And he's we are helping him recover Goodbye quite a bit. Now, Mr. Elwood. She's got a cold. We definitely want to heal her because we might be drinking her later. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening. Do you need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Dr. Reed. Give the medicine. Not under my watch, nurse. We Take need this this, this uh, district to be a better. bit more healthy Thank before you, we can drink Dr. anyone Reed. from it. Else we Goodbye, but else we kind of risk turning it into a hostile territory. Everyone is like super fatigued here though. You have the parts I need for that gun. Good evening, Milton. Good evening. I'd like to see your wise choice, Doc. Uh, what was it I needed? I think I needed a uh, handle parts, right? I'll just buy both. Why not? Got plenty of money. 
If only there were more of us with less resignation and more determination. I know I can see if I can heal these two. Good evening, Doctor. Oh, they've got new stuff to say too. No, they do not. Good, I like that. Do you need any medical assistance? Why do yourself, I have to like doctor? provide medicine to the doctors? Yes, indeed. But don't worry, I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. I have nothing for headaches, though. Okay, take care of I yourself. I'll see you later. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. I think I can cure her fatigue, though. Determination, what is this, Undertale? Not quite, and let us never speak of that which apparently cannot be spoken of anymore. Apparently that game has just become the game that's so memeish that no one wants to talk about it anymore. It's like, it, you, if you mention Undertale these days, or Five Nights at Freddy's, I think as well, it's just immediate eye-rolling. medical assistance, nurse? I will be fine. As soon as I can get some sleep. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this, and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you, all right, she's recovering now. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Who else? We're just like playing the role of the medicine man right now. Mortimer, didn't I cure his fatigue? Oh, she, I don't have anything for headaches, do I? Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you? I need blood to Tell me, Thelma, why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I, I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal... Well, I life. personally don't mind people talking about Undertale, but I've noticed that Undertale has become something that people like... If you mention it, people just like start rolling their eyes because it, it was such a big game for a while. Would you say you and Mr. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate soul. <laughs> Even though he disguises it. But I am not the woman he needs. <laughs> no, for I am a vampire, Doctor. Plan to make him a vampire. Do you plan to make him a vampire too? Of course not. How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel, Doctor. I have nothing for your headache. I am sorry. Can't heal you. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. We're just going to cure I'm everyone's fatigue. Right Get now, the Dr. district Reed. in better shape. Tell me, Waverly, what do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is the game is theorist still doing video after video on Five Nights at Freddy, by the way? Now that, sir, is Has he covered every single aspect of that game that can possibly ever be covered, as well as the stuff that actually surgery. you probably should make I a video on? I believe we should stick to the usual procedure, but my young colleague obviously disagrees. Why do you wish to leave? He, he released search. another one a week I ago. Wow. That Mr. I mean, I can't doubt those probably get a lot of views still, procedure. but damn, dude. I think, I think at some point you need to pack it in. I really hope you're right about this, Dr. Ackroyd. I'm trusting your judgment on this. I'm not the kind of man. I didn't even think Five Nights at Freddy was still a big Dr. thing. Lee. I thought that had kind of died off by now. There's no need for you to be looking over my shoulder. And are you not afraid that your rivalry... Without Five Nights at Freddy's, what will Game 3 do? Rivalry? Good question. I guess you could call it that. Has he done any Fortnite videos yet? Has he gone into the deep lore of Fortnite by any chance? Feelings affect my judgment. I can't imagine he'd do miss out on that. Assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in We don't need more. Often. Well, I'm not the one making Fortnite clickbait. That you will not find a single Fortnite video on my channel. It's everyone else who Thank just can't resist time. the call, the siren we'll call later. of, you know, views and clicks. Okay, I can cure this guy's anemia. 
Apparently I'm the only fucking doctor at this place that's actually healing people. What the hell is going on with you? Boss. Good evening, Mr. Fitt. That's just the theory, Dr. though. Any A news game about my theory. Uh, I tease because I love. Is there anything else that's? I'm having anything personal against game theory. Can I help in any way? Really? Actually, we have not killed well, anyone no yet. We're we're playing like a complete here. vegetarian I vampire. I was in a hospital. Uh, nurse said they're out of uh, painkillers, but we made more. That was an entire first mission of the game, almost. you are not the only person who needs help. What's going on right now? We're like doing doctor do work at the good. hospital. <sighs> I'm like getting That's the status right, of this district a lot more healthy so I can possibly sure eat a few people and level up because be I am weak as hell like at this point. But the, and the easiest way of doing uh, getting the district status up is just heal people of their ailments. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. The top five... Oh, God, those videos. The top five YouTubers who sworn... I, that is like the cringiest thing ever. Do I have any fatigue medicine left at this point? Good evening, Mr. Goswick. Well, I, the How priest doesn't actually okay. count along with everyone else. I'm talking about the NPCs that you can do this stuff with. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. Top five she game sinners who have you. sworn. I'm waiting for that to video. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured, you're in good hands here. It's not me. I think it's the way he says sworn, who's sworn. It's my mother. Like, it's some really bad thing. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I'm going to turn into PewDiePie soon, where I'm just releasing videos making fun of other That's YouTubers. Tempting, doctor. If I keep this up. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself or H3, to my H3. bed. 4H3H3. Guys, it has to stop! Essentially. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. What's with the bootleg Harry Potter? Oh, if I wanted to triple my views, I would have I would just like go right down the ramp of turning my my entire channel into pure garbage. It would definitely work though. I'd I'd release like three or four Fallout videos. Every time a Fallout doesn't update, release another video on it. Like here's the sins of the latest I mean not Fallout, Fortnite update. Then I'd send Undertale, Five Nights at Freddy's, basically anything that I know is I can't, I shouldn't be making a video on, but do it anyways. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a bird. All of you guys, though, you would like hit the road because, well, that guy's changed. But I'd get a whole bunch of new fans who are probably way, way not my kind of people. I don't have anything I with this guy. I will see you later. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Yeah, I think I can heal her. Doctor. Don't Good mention evening, which Doctor. asshole. H3H3? How's H3? my son doing? I like H3H3. I know not everyone likes him, though, but it is what it is. Attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? Do you know it's not like mentioning him is, gonna, you know, is a bad thing, this. even if you don't like him. No. You can mention a person don't you don't well, particularly, actually. you're not particularly fond of. Despite what you think about this I mean, place, one of the only three YouTubers you can watch without vomiting. Thank this you. Will help you recover. Well, at least Am I interested in the near games? Well, I well send one of the near games. They've hinted that they I might remake the, the original, so I might send that if that ever happens. I don't know if I'd actually go back and send the original game as, Goodbye, as it came Mrs. out, because I heard it's not very good. Right. What's the status of the ailments of this place? Recovering. Don't have anything for headaches. That guy's recovering, recovering. Don't have anything for headaches or fatigue anymore. Recovering. He's recovering. Recovering. All right, we did a pretty good job of getting everyone recovered of stuff. That seems good to me. Someone's doing a Fortnite themed game park in your sociology class. Yeah, you're going to have to put up for that game for another year or two. Sorry, guys. That's just the way it's going to be. Don't get your hopes up. That's going. That game's going anywhere for the time being. Just weather the storm. It's basically the new Minecraft. Nothing you can do about it. But I can tell you what we're going to do right now. I think we're going to end the stream for the night. It's 11.30 or 11, almost 
We did it. We took a pretty good chunk out of the game, and we apparently have three chapters left in the game. We're on chapter four, and it goes to chapter six. Usually, though, the way games work, the last chapter is super short, though. So we'll see. Hopefully, we can beat the game tomorrow, but I'm not going to promise that. But we'll definitely have it beaten by Sunday, I imagine. Before I leave, I want to thank each and every one of you for showing up tonight. You guys have been an amazing audience. It's been a really great stream tonight. A lot of great conversations. Also, thank you to those who donated bits or subscribed or resubscribed. A couple new subscribers tonight, so thank you guys as well. And finally, thank you to my mod team for doing an excellent job as always. Love you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. I'll, I'll either start the stream at 6 or 7. I'm not entirely sure which one. Just look for the announcement. Alright guys, enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll see you then.